A storm is brewing. Ooh. Dimitri on Jake, Drake is a wizard. Within the Tempest, the best have come to test their skills and brave the storm. Oh, oh he missed it. Oh, he allowed a drop. Oh my goodness. The wheels, the wheels have come that, off. That could be the match. For some, this is familiar ground. Oh my goodness, 98, whoa. One and second, one second. Move, move. For others, this is a fresh field to prove their prowess. This is insane. Oh, look at Fabi, exhausting every last resource. The battles will be electric. Hey, seven feet. You you can't it stop me. Oh my God, it didn't happen. The moves will be fast. It's game over. It's winning. Oh my God. Yes, it is. He's going to make a queen. The stakes will be high. He just grabs his head. He can't believe it. He just oh, gave man. away the pawn. The 2022 Speed Chess Championship is now. Fasten your speed belts, my friends. We're in for a wild ride. Welcome, we are here. It's that time, Speed Chess Championship, the round of 16. I'm here with Jeffrey Zhang, Chef Jeff. I'm Fide Master James Canty the third here, and we're bringing you a big match. Jeff, who do we have playing today? Well, first of all, hello, Canny. Hello, everyone. Uh, Canny, it was a pleasure getting a chance to commentate on your all your IM SCC games. Thank you. But I think this is our first time commentating together. Uh, so I know you love to bring the energy. I'll do my best to reciprocate. And <laughs> yeah, let's go. We'll have fun. Uh, let's have some fun, man. Let's tell everybody what's at stake, guys. There's a lot of money on the line, lots of games, lots of fun. Lots of prizes, right? And uh, of course, the uh, accolades of SCC champion here. Main event prize pool is $100,000. The winner gets 2000 plus the split um, uh, of the additional 2000 based on win percentage. And the winner advances to uh, the quarterfinals. So the matchup today is GM Hikaru versus David Paravian. All right. So I'm excited about that match. It's going to be some heavy hitter stuff today. What do you think about David's chances? Yeah, it's going to be tough. I mean, we just saw uh, Wesley fend off the late rally of Norderbeck, and this is our final matchup of the quarterfinals, so one more ticket up for grabs. It's, yeah, I mean, no doubt an uh, overwhelming favorite mm -hmm. is Hikaru, but David, he's going to try his best. I know he can be very sneaky himself. Yeah, of course. I mean, you can't, you can't uh, like, have David out. You can't knock David out. You really can't. The reason for it is uh, I remember seeing – Men, he took down men. Men, of course, newly meant to GM, but he's already been there for a while, right? But he took out men. It was very, very impressive to see that there. But uh, man, it is no Hikaru, as we know, Hikaru being the best to ever do this. I mean, he's won SCC four times, yeah, four time uh, SCC champ. I mean, just ridiculous, yeah, defending champ. If that wasn't impressive enough, I know he's also has 40 title Tuesday, title two day, Tuesdays on his belt, so. Just ridiculous stuff. He's been dominating the online platform uh, for like a good 15 years now. Yeah, a good 15 years. Right? All the all the platforms, in fact, uh, with that being said. So it's a lot of a lot of fun. I think it's going to be um, hopefully not a blowout, right? That's what uh, the, the predictions were saying. Like everybody, like 98% Hikaru here. So if you guys think Hikaru is going to win, let's get some energy in the chat for Hikaru. Let's get some energy in the chat for David too as well. So. Yeah, I saw earlier on, 209 people, I think, uh, predicted David Paravion to advance. While I, I admire that bravery, I'm not sure <laughs> it'll be rewarded. Uh, so we'll see. But it is very, very admirable. Yeah, of course. Uh, if we see that happen, uh, the, the, of course, something's going to happen. It's going to be all over the all over the Internet, guys. So, of course, the format here is a 16-player knockout. If you didn't know, the players will score points across three time controls until the time runs out. Um, tie breaks will be four games of one minute with one second inter increment, or one, one second bonus, and the Armageddon with the bidding. So these formats are, are strenuous, very long. You, you need a lot of uh, stamina there, Jeffrey. For sure. And all the players here, I think, focus on both their uh, chest, but also physical shape. I know that Magnus is the reason why he's the best. He specializes in that subject. And as you said, very, very long match. You play 90 minutes of five minutes, 60 minutes uh, of three, and then finally the bullet. So you've got to master all phases of the time control and uh, keep your level throughout. Who do you think is going to win in each section, Jeffrey? I'm not putting you on the spot right now, Chef Jeff, but who do you think is going to cook up in each, in each of these uh, time formats. Well, it is going to be very, very hard to go against Hikaru in any of these 
I think David's best chance, though, is having a good strategy in the opening. I think as a sizable underdog, which he is, the onus is on him to have, you know, done his due diligence uh, before the match, come in with some good opening prep, try to get Hikaru off guard, maybe get some openings that he feels comfortable with and uh, try to go from there. Well, that sounds like a great plan, Jeffrey. All right, to what Mike say, Tyson say, until you get punched in the face. But secondly, here we got to see what Smarter Chess says about these the, this matchup today. We like to prove them wrong, of course. So Smarter Chess, as you see, ninety five percent win probability. All of everything is going to the man, the myth, the legend himself. David is the huge underdog, number sixteen, going against the number one, twenty two uh, or twenty two. And you see that twenty two to six. Wow, Jeffrey, that's a lot, bro. That's a lot of points. Man, that is a lot. 7-2, seven, 7-2, two, seven, two, and 8-2 being predicted by Smarter Chess. That is, uh, that is a lot to overcome. And it is honestly quite hard to dispute. I know that they haven't played the most uh, over the board. I don't think they've ever played. But head-to-head -head online, Hikaru leads 11-2, to two, I believe. So that is, that is pretty significant and has something to do with these predictions. Yeah, it's actually going to be very scary for David Rivian here. But, of course, uh, I think he just has to put the emotions to the side and just play the board, right? I remember Ben Feingold actually taught my coach one long time ago, said this thing. Never forgot it, right? You just play the board. <laughs> it's easier said than done when you are facing Hikaru Nakamura. But, uh, you know, play the board, I think it takes a little bit of pressure off. For sure, yeah. He, as I mean, you mentioned pressure. He has absolutely no pressure going in. He knows that he is not expected to win this match. And I think what he has to try to do here, you know, just try and let Hikaru know, you know, he's he's going to be in the rearview mirror. Try to hang around as long as possible. And uh, if he gets an opportunity, try to strike. And here, and of course, this is what the community predicted. SEC Bracket Contest. This is what you guys said. Total brackets, 14,000 and a 96 and a 209 over here. Of course, uh, for 2% and 98% predicted to win is Hikaru at 98 right seed number one versus c16 guys it's all there uh, david has a lot of work to do everything's looking like it's going into hikaru's uh favor here jeff yeah huge disparity there um i did jump the gun a little bit i mentioned the 209 people once again yeah i commend you uh i was not as brazen myself i don't know about you but how how is your bracket looking by the way oh mine is already uh, uh busted there of course i had gary going through <laughs> I had Geary going through, but of course, Saren be sparring, right? The kid is a monster. So he came in there and just did what he had to do. But he needed that from the CGC too as well there. But uh, of course, whoever wins this match is going to place LeBron Aronian, of course, is what I like to call him um, in the next match there. It's going to be absolutely epic. So it's either going to be Hikaru or David as you, they're set up and they're ready to go. We're just kind of waiting now. The boys are ready. They're on cam, right? And uh, and we're, we're going to uh, see some great chess here, right? So the rest of the bracket though, Jeffrey. Well, first of all, a little bit. yeah, Saren B. Sparin and LeBron Aronian, I love those nicknames. What do you got for uh, for David and Hikaru? Anything? Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you think about it. I'll let you think about it. But uh, yeah, I mean, look around the bracket here. We see elite names everywhere you look. Um, okay, obviously, Hikaru and Manus don't need any introduction. But these other guys, Ding, Nihal, as you mentioned, uh, we just saw Wesley. Right. advance himself that sets a, a massive date against mvl which is going to be a thriller and then i mean okay fabiano and, and magnus too so just everywhere you look it's it's amazing yeah nihal and ding that's going to be amazing i think ding is uh people keep people never like they always count him out for some reason but forget that he was number 22 in the world at one point over 2800 right still a monster and just kind of under the radar that's a scary place to be uh, under the radar monster that doesn't come out you know unless it's a uh, dark outside right ding loren is very strong to face and then you also have a, a lebron aroni here hikaru on the other side then you got carlson right carlson is trying to take it away from hikaru if hikaru makes it to the final with that four um sitting on four championships secs from hikaru here so it's a lot, man. It's going to be a lot of great chess here. I'm excited to see it. And you also get lessons from here. And I always like to do this commentary here, of course, because you get to learn from these guys. You really get kind of free lessons in a way. If you aren't, you're just not watching it the right way. Oh, yeah, a ton. I love the part where you mentioned free lessons. It is completely free for everybody. We have such a luxury. We're so lucky to be able to watch all these great players fight in the SEC. Just tune into chess.com and you get everything. Absolutely right. As you see the boys on screen, a car with the fresh cut. David too as well. He got the little haircut. Remember? Do you remember? Was that? Did you see the twirl match? The 
That was oh uh, the twirl him, yeah the, the twirl, twirl against men oh my how could I forget <laughs> guys yeah, you yeah, remember yeah. that yeah he cut his hair he's he must he's be got sure. a flat three? top though oh goodness what, what? Wow, already goodness. starting <laughs> hold on he with the disrespect oh, Jeffrey, man. I would feel I would feel absolutely disrespected yeah yeah I mean maybe he thinks he's still uh playing his disrespect speed run here but this is something that he I believe he opted for in the St Louis Blitz. And he played it against me too, and it worked. So, don't be fooled by uh, by this approach. The problem is that it hurts when you lose to this. You're like really mad. Like, bro, I, oh put, I spent God, all this time it. prepping. I was in the lab. I was prepping for hours. And a three move one. Ouch! Right. And you see the smile there actually from from uh, David there. So in this position so far, this looks like some type of a reverse night or faction. Indeed. Indeed, yeah. Slightly wow. unusual retreat here. You often see that knight going to b6 instead, but knight of six certainly very playable as well. And I think David just wants to, yeah, he wanted to play c5, so that's why Carter played b4 to stop that in his tracks. Absolutely, with the bishop b2, putting some pressure on the e pawn. The bishop usually will go to e2. It's more of the positional knight orbs in the reverse that you would see, with, of course, the d5 square, but in this case, it would be the d4 square, which is already under white's control. We can play d4 at some point. There's actually a really nice reverse knight orb here. The knight to d2 pressure on the c file as well not uh, really stopping c5 you do have to figure out what to do with this bishop though jeffrey maybe something like a uh a uh route this way that takes a lot of time yeah i agree with you i mean normally the bishop will just sit on e2 wait for its uh for its day later on but i think it does look very reasonable for her car he's got a tempo up but b5 incredibly interesting approach here i think his idea is mm. to follow that up with a5 Right, a fixing the pawn, as you see in like in games here, or what they call it as a pawn freeze. One will stop two. So this is actually very nice. B five, a five, trying to attack the weak pawns here. So what do we play here, Jeff? Do we just go bishop e two anyway? Bishop e two certainly. Yeah. I mean, certainly the prudent developing move. Hikaru already with his facial expressions. I wish Danny were here to identify which one that is. But I think, yeah, I think Hikaru might be considering the move d three d four counterattacking both in the center but you also threaten to take on b5 with the tempo mm, oh d4 so d4 maybe d or ed5 or ed4 and bishop b5 c6 there's also some 94 in there mm. weirdly and with that sacking exchange probably not enough there he's not fully developed yet b5 move stops and thinks hikaru in the think tank very nice yeah crucial moment. this could get very B4. spicy and he does play the <laughs> it's on a board Woo. So now that line that you were talking about, I think ED4, Bishop B5, as you said, 94, probably not enough. You give up the exchange. Right. But after C6, I think I just drop back Bishop D3. And just chill and put the bishops on the diagonal here. I actually had a very strong game against the International Master recently. The one, I, was, I felt Hikaru S. I did play like the Knight of 3, B3 system over the board game. It was very nice. When you get this going, it's just, it's, it's, it, it, how do you get these type of positions right out of a larson system it just is insane to me but i can definitely <laughs> see this after bishop b5 c6 bishop d3 pushing and having uh, the bishops just do their thing on this side of the board d4 on the board Arabian in the thing yeah and d4 is an extremely typical break in the nidorf and he's sitting here with an extra tempo plus he gets b5 off uh right. with the tempo so it looks very favorable for Ikora as far as i can tell I'm a big fan of it. I mean, the bishops get very active. And of course, in the knight orf, when you need the b5 square with the pawn on a6, or at least playing a6, b5, you have that already. a3, b4, bishop looks good. And we got action. Takes, takes. Bishop d7, drop back to the house. So, there it is, yeah, bishop d3 played. Now, d4 is hanging. It's double attack. You can't protect that. I guess Dave is going to try and sack and get some uh, initiative going in another way. That's very nice. That's very, very nice, in fact. Yeah, maybe you can also do stuff like knight to c6, defending, right? But I, I definitely like white. I mean, obviously, we have e5 in some cases, too, to be able to break this up and use the bishops this way. I have to be careful around, uh, for the defile pressure that could be there. But at the end of the day, this is um, pretty, pretty nice for white. I like I like the initiative that we have. Mm -hmm. I was looking at a few options here, a5 being one of them. I thought also bishop g4 is interesting, pinning the knight. So g4. But now... A5, don't I just respond here with B5? What do you think he has in mind? You said after B5? After White plays B5? Oh, right he plays here, right yeah. Now. Okay. So maybe yeah, yeah. C6, C6, A4, though. C6, A4 takes, takes. Or C5, yeah, C6, play A4, right? Maybe Bishop A4, B4? definitely an option to keep the, keep the Knight at bay stuck on B8. But yeah, you would give up the B4 square, and Black could plant his Bishop. So 
A lot of ops do it for a card. You mm. could also take on D4 either before or after BC. So a few options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Maybe I go B6 and take. I just don't want to develop his piece by taking. That's the only problem. Oh, wow. B6 would be very creative with the idea, I guess, Knight C4 if, if Black were to capture. Oh, I was actually just taking on D4. But we're just going to take. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was just going to take. But Knight C4 is very nice. Knight C4 is very nice. B6, Queen B6, Knight C4, then take on D4. Very nice. Yeah, very, very curious very nice. moment here. Both sides around two Plays minutes. A4. He does go A4, your original idea, allowing bishop B4, but you do keep this knight on B8 for the moment. I might as just get out of the way, too, as well. The knight's on B8, restricted by the pawn. This is one thing you want to do to your opponent's pieces is restrict them. Development is actually lacking for black. White is one move away from castling, almost connecting the rooks, figuring out what to do with the queen later. E5 is definitely going to be played at some point. Indeed, yeah. If Black's not careful, you go Bishop B4 castles. E5 would already be a huge threat in that position. So I think Black has to develop some out. Oh, he's gonna try Knight H5, Ooh. Knight F4. I like it. Engine says this is this is not a move. Try a new. One. Try again. What is that? <laughs> I mean, this is a like, that looks like a great move though. I mean, was, yeah, engine. Nice engine is always always scoffing at at our human ideas, but it does look very logical. If he yeah, provokes G3, then maybe the follow up will be Bishop H3 interfering with the castle so not so clear do you allow knight of four here or not that's a great question that's a great question i really i mean i really don't like the knight on f4 that's just so annoying could I guess be you nasty there to. but hikaru doesn't doesn't care knight of four i guess he goes bishop c4 yeah maybe just bishop c4 and then we have to watch out maybe queen f6 but that, okay that's that's provoking it there it is bishop c4 the, the, the goal is obviously putting the queen over here uh -huh. There's also maybe even bishop h3 ideas at the right moment Oh, Bishop H3 would be in the air, but Bishop D4 comes with tempo. I think right. I think you do try the Queen F6, Queen G6. What I really want to do for Black, though, is develop that Knight on B8 somehow. Move your Bishop away. Maybe you also right. can go Bishop G4, Knight D7, just finish development. Right, and maybe a nice C5. Finish development, right, which is a huge thing that we talked about. You, he's, he is not finishing his development, which means he's basically two pieces down right now. Uh, but, of course, we don't need it just yet. The bishops are going to get very active, and the engine likes white's position. As a human standpoint, we do as well as we're one move away from really completing development, connecting the rooks. Black's still trying to do that. We also have a pass B pawn. Oh, yeah. If white were able to consolidate this position, like have no, nothing to worry about with his king, right. then he would just right. be a clean pawn up and more. So that's why David has to try and cook something up. He's going to try this bishop g4. Play bishop g4, yeah. Bishop g4. I, mean, I like it. Like, look at this from a practical standpoint. Pieces are on the fourth rank, two of them. Everything's the same. three, though, a nice move, removing yourself from the pin and also with tempo. Hitting F7, right? Hitting F7 with tempo, very beautiful. And he takes D4 as a move. You also have E5 once again. This E5 move is very, very, like, you can just smell it. You know it's there. In it's the air. Be, but it has to be right. It has to be right. It has to be yeah, right. and it's even I'm looking at. Uh, it's not even easy for David to cover on F7 conveniently. Like, Queen E7 might run into your idea with E5 already. Right. Not nice. to mention, White can always pick up D4 and just have a healthy pawn. Whenever I want. Oh, by the way, you do need to use the time as a piece as well. And David oh, has man. none of that. He has none of that. He is getting that. low. But, I mean, it's hard to blame him. Very, very tough position here. He goes Queen D7, but that takes away the square for the knight. So it does not look very appetizing absolutely not of course the so two pieces down it feels like here but we need to be able to use it the right way we play e5 still again but bishop takes d4 knight g5 i mean these are all moves let's see what so he many good it. options yeah you can rookie also one, rookie one even i was going to say just to keep yeah. all the flexibility mm -hmm. alive but i think objectively speaking maybe you just take on d4 here i'm not sure with the bishop or the knight Hmm. That's a great question. Uh, I really like bishop because I want to play e5 ASAP. ASAP. But, I mean, knight takes is no problem. Maybe it's bishop e5 there. It's a great yeah, position Karu, for white. Karu, he might be calculating some kind of counterplay for black along the lines of bishop h3, but I don't think any of that nonsense will work. So, but yeah, he's just making sure he's covering the bases. Doesn't want to get too long time, though, down to 40 seconds and counting. Definitely both of them low on time here, but this is still a lot of time for Ikaro. And you get that one second increment. So this isn't really well, the 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 no increment chest that we're used to playing. We have to play so fast. Bishop d4 on the board. 
e5 mm -hmm. definitely a, a threat the speech five threatening queen g4 watch out Oof. and now maybe uh actually h3 so you can sack yeah, so strong I think you go g3 queen h3 gf i guess you get away with that knight on f3 is covered twice Bishop f4 is close. It's so close. And rook e6 is not there. I can't go rook a6 either. That's funny. This pawn stopping all the ideas. Knight here, I think both king h1 and king g2 seem good. And you've got bishop d5. Now queen g4. Right, queen g4. Threatening knight of four. David down to nine seconds. Or just wants to be careful here. e5. E6, Whoa, wait, wait, wait a three. second. Is there knight of four? It's still king h1. I don't see anything. But you can't take on e6. Which he does takes on e6, bishop c3, two seconds. One oh second. my god, Ooh, no time. I think Whoa. he's back in the game here, by the way, but he's just got no time, got to make some pre moves. Oh, uh, speaking of time, I mean, Hikaru, two, two, about the same amount of time here. Takes, takes, yeah, not convincing by any means. Got an end game here, rook b1 going after the pawn, knight Ooh. d4. Rook B2. Very double edged sword here in this uh, endgame. Knight C6, Knight C6. Yeah, and. Take the pawn. Oh, the E5 pawn is hanging as is B4. He picks this up. Now Hikaru seems back in the driver's seat. Right. Man. Very poor, chat. Very, very poor. Very poor. Let it slip, chat. Let it slip. H4, H6, take, take. G4. We yeah, have Rook G4. Yeah, this is, I mean, it should be winning. Should, should be, be pretty clean here. You're going to have two pawns up. Uh, maybe just. Yeah, remove yourself from the pin and go from there. Knight four, knight f five coming. Oh, and look at that! Beautiful. All kinds of mating nets. Hold so, on, there's a. Ooh, knight f five. Woo! Knight f six. Rook That's it. Is David mating. flags, but it was losing. Bit of a shaky start there from Hikaru, but most importantly, gets the job done. Uh, yeah, I mean, one a three came to fruition. Maybe <laughs> I might uh put that in my repertoire if I can get. These kinds of that's so the annoying a3 that's just insane bro playing a3 move one and winning it's just you know un insane right a3 a4 we're gonna see all type of stuff here today if that's how he's doing it first game a3 he can play anything at this point huh jeffrey oh yeah and i feel like this is his match strategy which is just to evade david's prep just to play real chess I'm not going to give you any home cooked of any sort and yeah show me what you got all right here we go Game two is up and running. E4 on the board. What are we going to go with today? C6. Look, Carol Khan. Okay. Look, Carol Khan. Yeah, I D5, like I like Hikaru's opening so far. He doesn't go for his normal Berlin. So, again, sticking to this agenda of avoiding David's uh, prep. Right. He's going to probably bring it out at some point there. But definitely go. I mean, Hikaru is very versatile. We've seen him play many different openings here. Oh, yeah. Carol Khan, very strong with the queen of B6 option here c5 C4. yeah i believe this is all theory i'm not the most familiar with this line i tend to yeah i played a queen a5 queen a6 myself for black but yeah this is gonna be slightly uh different looks kind of like a french actually oh yeah you're a french guy i say i play some french for myself too as well yeah it does absolutely a great french french with the bishop gone so that's exactly what this has become now from a carol khan obviously we do have takes on d4 97 knight of five ideas this is very solid for black right but do note that this h4 h5 inclusion is favorable for white that h5 pawn much weaker than its counterpart can be hit with like a knight of four and also the g5 square permanently under white's control here you will never have like an h6 to kick a piece absolutely there is some uh some lines with early rook h3s you also see this in the french as well playing g4 once the king figures out where he wants to go castling c4 on the board queen b2 is always answered with a rook to b1 and taking on b7 this is why queen b2 is not being played here you also can i mean queen's almost trapped like knight c3 knight b5 stuff but yeah probably a bit too speculative to take on b2 but this is a very quick strike in the center by david saw a slight head shake from hikaru not sure if he feels comfortable in this type of position yeah i've only studied a little bit of this theory here i know queen a6 when you can like pin it here i've seen this in theory before but is he, I mean, he shook his head, so I guess he's not happy with this, but queen a6 was... Queen a6 cool. looks correct. Otherwise, you don't allow cd5 shattering your pawn structure. Well, he goes cd4, but what if cd5... Oh, he now, follows it up with a counterattack. Wow. Wow. A little in-between move there. Queen b3, wow, takes there. Was d3 not something interesting? D3, nice. d3 was, was interesting. interesting there, but in any case, I think we're going to have 
queen a4 check maybe forcing an end game after queen c6 you take knight d4 and i think you have a very slight edge as Absolutely. white yeah take on d4 yeah that's correct it's a slight slight edge it looks good looks good slight edge is white only edge is really i mean i guess a little bit of space and the better pawn structure on the queen side target on the c file yeah that is the most important thing and one extra pawn island for black doesn't seem to mean much but it could especially as you said if you get some uh pressure along the c file you also have this juicy blockading square on c4 for your other knight knight to c4 very nice f6 ah, i forgot about that break that's very annoying Aha, uh -huh. no ac no annoying. good squares for the bishop. You have to probably drop it on e3. Mm. Who's better Dark now? Pearl. Well, I still like white because you have this knight. I mean, you're gonna get you're gonna play knight c4 at some point. Knight and knight even though I mean the doubled e pawns look funny, but you're mm. gonna probably play ef6 at some point and undouble them. Yeah, just the pawn uh, islands here are pretty rough. One, this is all one. Two, yeah, three. key two here, very solid. I guess he's going to go for something different. So I won in knight c4, but I think he's going to play knight b3 instead. And maybe use that c4 square for the rook. Play rook c4, double. Mm, nice. And uh, yeah, Beautiful. put the pressure there on the queen side. Beautiful. I like it. Knight b3, rook c4, doubling of the rooks and just bullying the pawn. It's a clear plan. Very clear plan. It's nice to have a clear plan. You can play quickly and confidently. And he's up time right now. This is a pretty nice game for Dave. Yeah, and I will also point out that the e5 pawn does hang, but black is not exactly ecstatic to uh, to take it. You'd be left with these really ugly looking pawns here. Um, yeah, for example, I mean, 95, 95, fe5, like just 94. <laughs> I don't think uh, this. anybody this would be gross. pleased here this with gross. that extra pawn. Yeah. This is disgusting. Let's get this off the screen, please. Yes. E2. King e2. All right. But on the other yeah. hand, it is very difficult to find alternatives for black. Like, what sort of ideas are you hoping for? It should be seven. And actually, uh, rook to b8. Yeah, here, are, this reminds me of, uh, there's a c3 Sicilian position that you get with the white side that's similar, where you have some activity. That's really all you're playing for, because the, the pawn structure is really bad. And I think that's what black is doing. I'm just playing for trying to get activity, but white's more active. So, I mean, you're not playing for activity. The structure's bad. I'm just kind of holding. Like, this is not the Garo Khan. That you would hope to get for in, in any situation of the girl oh no 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 yeah and i think we're going to see an immediate switch in hikaru's next black game the last move by david rook hd1 very nice just keeping that king stuck on e8 if he were to have castled there would have been a rook d7 sighting so ultimately hikaru does take on e5 but i feel like white has many pleasant options to choose from now you know what's weird though? This actually, it's very hard to get rid of this knight. I mean, you could have a knight f2, I guess, is get rid of it. But this, these pawns are restricting a lot of squares right now. Yeah, they're double, but they're restricting a lot, and I can't take this one just yet. But then again, what right. does black do? It is a fair point. You always have the knight f2 idea in your back po pocket, removing the defender uh, on e5. But I think you also can just leave the situation as is. Maybe just double here, back on c5. I like it. Doubling. Maybe pressure the pawn, two versus one. Good chances over here. Very good chances. You have to watch out for a potential and eventual e4 after everything is traded on c5, mm. e4, and rook f2 would be very, very annoying. Very, very annoying to face. Good point. Yeah, could get concrete there. Potential complications could arise. I'm also looking at a way to play this very slowly, maybe Magnus style even, play a move like g3, oh, just yeah. covering h4, and then maneuvering the knight on f3 via e1 to d3. Where I attack everything and also guard that f2 square to very Magnus S. You've been studying some Magnus, huh? <laughs> Jeff, Chef Jeffrey always be out here cooking up something. That's nasty. G391, knight d3 with just a positional grip there. And it's just uh, beautiful. I love it. I'm definitely just doing nothing, is what Kramnik likes to call it. Doing nothing, but doing it very well. Very nice. To G5. He's going to go slightly more aggressive route here with knight fg5 allowing the bishop takes right. i don't know if i, don't I... understand right i mean okay right well, do we take it i think he you have to okay. take yeah 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 e7. seven now we and have this... now how do we yeah i'm regress? looking at right i'm looking at okay i guess first of all if you take on c5 you don't want to allow rook f2 so right. definitely discount it but there's also a rook d6 move that i'm looking at Oh, rook d6? So you got your ideas here? Rook c6? 
Right, I just went rook c6. And then rook c7 or take. Nice. Nice. Nicaro's move. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, David's move here. Rook d6 is... Wait. Rook d6, is there like knight f2? Oh, there could or be. Or rook f2 option. or something? Yeah, deflecting. Right, yeah, you would deflection. simplify it. Uh, white would still be better there, but yeah, I'm not sure if I want to let you exchange my beautiful right. knight there on e4. Interesting. He's trying to figure out what to do. So what's wrong with doubling, man? Was saying, yeah, what's wrong with this move? Maybe, I mean, he's just... Uh, if you double, I thought the idea was... Yeah. Rook, yeah. Although, I mean, you can always take on c5 there and you would cover. Rook c3 You're play defense. play rook c3 first. Also mm. nice and solid. It's um, hard to find moves for black. It's really hard. It is, it is. Your rook is stuck on a5. You have to keep the knight on g4. Whoa. Basically, there are no ideas. You have to wait. Yeah, you have to wait here. You have to wait. Rook f5. It's almost in the Zuxuang position. You don't want to move the knight. And with rook, <laughs> like, what do you do? Like rook yeah, f seven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, rook f go, five. You gotta just play one of those moves. Rook f seven, okay. rook f five. Oh man, that's too funny. Rook b eight. Okay. Wait a second. So move. he's allowing knight to c five now. Double what is his? Back. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not sure why he wanted to give this up. Because with the rook on f eight, you always had a rook f two. Yeah, Wonder what his idea. It. And Ikaro, yeah, he shakes his head. I think he just forgot. Uh, very poor, fun. very poor, very poor. Right? I just blunder chat. And you see, I mean, the engine thinks that's a full one. 2.3 at this point from that clean pawn there. Knight c5. He goes king f7. Seven. He's going to try king g6 at least. Be sort seven, of... Yeah, just automatic. What? Stuff's hanging, right? Oh, yeah, got I mean, he had to allow 96. What, uh, his trick might be some sort of king understand. f5. I don't know. Um, well, there's another one. What is this? Give me everything. Engine says, well, I oh, think... rook takes and rook g6. No, that doesn't work. Oh, rook g7, king f5, e4, check. That's what it is. And then rook g6. The rook. And then rook e6, g6. you skewer, and king e4, you have knight c5 oh my with goodness. the fork. I Gross. think he's going to spot it. e4, what a move. Will he spot this? I mean, you can also play knight c5. That's probably good there enough. There it is. <gasps> this is lights out. Knight c5, nice put five. it on the board. Boom. Rook c4, check first. You got pre-moving it out. Wow. He just know he knew what happened there. Knight a6. I like how he's taking his time here. I got more moves. I can take the rook <laughs> or I can check. Wait, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here oh, he clean. What? Wait a second, but he allowed rook d6? He did. That was kind Why of Why did strange. he do that? That is insane. Mm. Look I at think it. he just yeah, forgot about his, rook d6. Yeah, yeah look at oh, his face. Oh, my goodness. So, look at Hikaru's face. Like, bro, are you, are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness, bro. Don't tell me he... No, nah, he ain't about... he's not going to lose this. You can't lose this, right, Jeffrey? You can't lose this, right, Jeff? Well, this is unreal. I mean, psychologically, it's very hard to recover. You were just gonna be a rook up if you took on a6 and now it's a game wow i mean david can't lose this right come on david. no he can't i don't think you he, he, he can can't lose possibly this, lose but maybe it's a it's draw a now if you take and take on b3 wow that's that's crazy takes take rook b3 pushes rook b8 oh here. yes rook b8 can you and get your rook behind the pawn not oh, sure yes, i mean it's already even draw. material i think it's a draw yeah, it has to be draw I mean, but the from where it came from, it feels like a loss, right? You know, completely. It winning. does. I mean, the rook on a6 was hanging. Mm -mm -mm. Like, <laughs> I can't stress that part enough. <laughs> it was just hanging. It was literally just hanging. Literally, we could have just taken the rook. But that's what happens sometimes when you look for a good move and you try to find a better one. And there was not a better one there. I mean, it probably was. But knight takes a6 was just clean, very easy, simplified. Yeah, the car effect, exactly. I mean, just really insane. He wanted to simplify there. Yeah, he he forgot. Just a sudden blind spot. He forgot about rook d6. Yeah. And yeah, now it's very likely going to be a draw. Wow. What a save, bro. Like, what a save. Yeah, king for rook f7. The pawn in him is definitely drawn here. You just check check literally everything. Check, 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 check. Probably you'll take away, on a5. Five. Wait a second. Maybe you can still push a little bit. Rook e5. Ah, but king e6. Yeah, this is clinical. He's got rook g4. Yeah. D4, think king d6. Yeah, just king like four. Maybe. Uh, I'm not sure which way you go. Both are probably fine. You gonna take the draw? Whoa, whoa, bro. He almost flagged. You are tripping. He playing oh, around. Oh, man. He had point six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't he coin too much here. <laughs> whoa, bro. One Chill gift was out. already enough. Point yeah, six. all right. That should do it. But sheesh. There we go. Oh, man. Ooh, man, I got a little scary there. 
Come on, bro. Come, are you kidding me? This is what he's doing, Jeffrey? This is what we're going to see every match? Yeah, I mean, I still can't get over that Night Takes A6 was, was just a free rook, but... Wow. Yeah. Oh, and now H. Oh wait. I yeah. This is what I'm saying. I'm sorry. Jeffrey. I didn't see it. This will be. Oh my god. Match, One H three now. H three. Goodness sakes. H three. Come on, bro. Can you? Can we have a, a sense of respect here? Okay. Knight to C six. I don't even know. Like, what is he gonna do? E three. G four. Yeah. Okay. I was wondering about G four here. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. All out of theory. All out of theory. So, well, this is G two. What you got? I think I can play D five for black. I want to punish punish your uh, delayed grub setup. Oh, for sure, for sure. You know he straight disrespect here. Mafonte d five takes knight d five and bishop g two. I mean, and if knight f four, like I'm already on you. I'm literally already attacking you. Knight e seven, spooked him a little bit. Maybe e four. Yeah, he's gonna G6. maneuver that knight around to g six, I guess. Try and uh, get at those soft squares. Weak one on h four, maybe f four as well. All right. But here. What if I play G5 first of all, kicking out that knight? Oh, G5 now? Actually, this is nice. You see this a lot in the aggressive Sicilians with G4, G5. My favorite stuff, one of my favorite pawns to push, right? G4 is move D4, though, after takes, queen takes, okay. Makes nice sense six. now that the knight left. Yeah, I think he'll... No, but if he comes back, queen E3 check, followed by G5 and a potential knight D5 might be an issue. Very nasty, very nasty pushback there. This is really so, enough now, fine. And I'm going to cast again, like, I mean, again, I really like Hikaru's position after this Me too. H3. I'm not even going to lie. It's because I think he just, this was probably an unnecessary move. And all it takes is one tempo, right? And we know that, you know, that one tempo thing, 97, just was, it feels strange now. And you, just, you can feel what's it, what's about to happen, right? Move the bishop, castle queen side, push everything, go for mate. You already oh, have a yeah. pawn on G4. It's nice. Oof, that 97 perhaps just a little bit too passive and right. Hikaru Johnny on the spot with D4, a great reaction. Yeah, it looks looks really tough. If you don't play knight c6 here, I don't really see another move because I mean knight g6 would just run straight into g5. Is this the new meta? He's up a minute on time. A whole minute. H3. Move one, right? Up a whole minute. And this looks very good for white. As you can just see the possibilities, the options, the flexibility is what we like about his position. Yeah, I'm taking notes here. Like, I struggle to get any sort of opening advantage when I'm playing white against Paravion. So, if H3 is what it takes, I mean, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> All right, that's funny. That's funny. I like this D5 move. Finally, just doing something. Strike. We take. We take Aha, uh -huh, but I thought I had the move G5 here. Because, G5. again, like, oh, G5? No, no, no. But Knight F5, there's Queen E5 check. So, what exactly do you do? Okay, so G5, it's a good, a good move. Let me see. I guess I just go back to G. It's gross. He plays it too. Like, look at this. But Knight of Five, Queen E5? Queen E5? Am I Whoa. blind here? Am I blind? What am I missing? The engine didn't move, though. Engine didn't move. Yeah, the engine so didn't something... move. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's extremely crazy right now. Huh? Queen E7. Oh my god. Queen E5, Bishop E6, GF6, Bishop D6, maybe traps the queen? Is it you traps? cannot be serious. This is disgusting, bro. This is disgusting. David Faunus? Whoa. What a fine. I mean, he went from hanging Whoa, a rook David. last game to, to finding this. David, you got to chill, man. You got to chill, bro. You got to breathe. That's a move. That's a wicked attack. Wicked. Check. Bishop e6, bishop d6. Develop everything. Trap the queen. That was beautiful. That was actually beautiful. I think Hikaru missed this as well. Oh, for sure. I mean, how could you not? And yeah, Hikaru spots it. Now he goes queen d3. Still Whoa. should be reasonable, right? Because... Once the black knight moves, you can win. Look a at bomb. David, bro. He just relentless here, huh? Takes. Why don't we just take it and take it? What's wrong with this? Jeffrey, well, you... I don't know if that's the best way to recapture the pawn. I like CD five a little bit more because now I don't give many tempos to black, and I think I want to follow it up Develop. with E four next uh, once the knights come off. Very nice. Takes and a Kikaru looking nice here. We can push forward. Got to be with caution, though. Definitely with caution. Bishops, open position. And we made some concessions here. And where does the king go? I have to go this way. Yeah, really nice job by Carl keeping his composure there after a brilliant idea from David. David will spot some stuff here. Knight f5 was absolutely sick. That was a sick move. But is there any way to keep the initiative going? I'm looking at knight c5, but it doesn't really amount to anything. I'm going to try it anyway. Maybe, do we go queen c4? 
Some nice moves. Queen C4 quite looks like a solid square. Yeah, your queen could not be further attacked. And mm -hmm. yeah, E4 would just be untapped. E4. A6, maybe A4. Mm hmm. Simply stopping all your ideas. Queen it was Queen C2. C2. I wasn't as sure because Knight D4 Correct. could hit you, but I guess he's not worried about D1. that at all. You just go Queen D1. All right. I go back home. D1, yeah, he's fine. So now David's still trying to find more tricks. I wonder. Okay, there is an H4 square for the knight. So, like, let's say you go bishop <laughs> 7 e4, knight h4, try and find some counterplay on the yeah. king side, maybe. That's funny, knight h4 here. But I'm okay, sure David's it's, moved, it's not enough. David's sure moved. Not enough. This is tough, because e4 is coming. You have no center, right? You have no center. It's oh, black. No, none at all. And you're That's still down important. a pawn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that, right? Not a pawn, no center. I mean, what is this? He's just playing real chess with him. He's just trying to get positions, which is very nice. I like the uh, the strategy he's choosing. It's just I just want positions because this is nothing out of the theory books. I'm up a pawn, I got a full <laughs> center. Like this is how, what is this? It's weird, GM chess. Yes. <laughs> Can you go H six for black? This is my new idea. At least, yeah. Try and take advantage of that overextended G pawn. Get my rook in the game. I really didn't like it, but I was like, I mean, h6 is possible to try to get the rook in the game eventually. I mean, it was very, very strange, but it works. It really works. h6, queen e7 he chose. Okay, so, so at yeah. least now e4, there's knight d4, I believe, and mm. could be some tactics uh, on the e file. Knight e4, yeah. So maybe just like a solid knight f3 move here for white. <laughs> or, or not, Jeffrey. B4. Or oh. B4. What do you mean solid? We played H3, <laughs> Jeffrey. Solid what? What is that? H3 yeah, Hikaru, one. Uh, Hikaru is not in the mood for, for any solid games here. Yeah, it's nothing solid around here, my guy. B4, Knight D7, maybe A3? Or E4 anyway. I mean, look at the... I mean, this is just wild. Like, there's too many things going on. But it's keeping the clock very low for David. Yeah, it feels like all queen moves or, or pawn moves from Hikaru, and it's it's working. I mean, this there's not much compensation uh, to show for David. H3, G4, A3, I mean, the man is just, you don't know what you're going to get from Hikaru now. B4, attacking the knight, knight to D7. Man, he, yo, yo, you got to move, bro. You have to move. He makes, he makes him move. Wait a second. How does this work, though? I can play either queen D1 or queen D2, and there's a double attack on both these knights. <laughs> I think queen d2 oh you're right yeah, yeah. 94 i was uh, gonna play queen d4 but it doesn't work so queen d1 and yeah, which one's better i mean queen d2 there might be a weird beat queen d2 maybe knight b3 yeah so queen right. d1 is safer right so it's the knight now both knights are hit that's just a piece bro hit the button i think he's yeah he's exhausted all his tricks leans back yeah. there a slight rub of the hair, just not much you can do right now. Yeah, yeah, he can't twirl. You see, he's trying to twirl us there. Look at that. He's trying to twirl the fade. Yeah, let me twirl the fade. Let me twirl the fade. That's we need funny. five. Oh, and F4, four. another pawn move. He's just taking three. everything. He's got bishop d2, and he's going to collect the knight. Yes, he got up to bishop d2 and collect the knight. Rook c1 is even probably slight. No, no, we don't need to. He but might throw it in. Me. Yeah, he does. I guess, I guess. <laughs> Why okay. not? Why not, right? Yeah. Throw it in. I think here, all right, queen b3, I just forced the queens off. You've got bishop g2. You've also, you can probably move the rook here and then unpin. Mm, Many ways you can convert. Castles. 95, that's it. 95. Uh, he takes the pieces for the queen. We can just castle or rook g1. Well, David's still fighting on. <laughs> Carl, you can <laughs> see what he thinks of that. <laughs> <laughs> right, look at his face. Really? Really? <laughs> We're playing this one out, bro. That's what he's saying. Really? Come on. Come <laughs> on. You know smirk. I'm not going to fall for that. Really? Oh, man. That is a priceless reaction. And Hikaru, all right, he's taking his time. He's going to... Actually, for Hikaru, it makes more sense to to take his sweet time here because I think the bullet is where he feels the most comfortable. So he doesn't mind letting some seconds come off the clock. We work to D1. Oh, that's a... Make sure we're not hanging up and crazy here. We did give him a little bit of counterplay, but we're fine. Uh, C6 yeah. is, is also hanging is here. Up. You can probably just take on H4 first. Queen C6. <laughs> Why are you smiling, bro? I can't Mark, get enough look of at the that. Camera. <laughs> oh, look at his face. That was funny. 
All right, David, bounce back time. Sicilian for me, Caro. Yeah, that Caracon was really good for David the first time around. We see a con by Hikaru. This is not something I recall seeing, but also C3, was that a mouse loop? I think it was. I'm looking at his face to see, because I know C4 is theory. So C3, he looks like he wanted to play C4. I think, yeah, yeah, a little shake there. Maybe he's from the last game too, but I think this was a mouse slip. Yeah, I feel like he's still rattled from that second game where he should have obviously won there, was just a full rook up. But yeah, he didn't have the clearest of reactions, but again, I've never seen the move C3 uh, I've never occur. seen this move, right? I was like, maybe he's trying something new here, right? We'll see. But of course, C4 uh, was the, the move he intended, if that, if that was indeed a mouse slip. Still a solid position, though. I mean, probably normal development from Mikaro Knight of 6. Maybe he'll... I'm not sure if he'll go D5 or D6. There's your answer. Yeah, D5. Now, a lot of times you can play E5, but that's when, like... The... Pieces are more developed. There's a pawn sack here all the time. Let me see Karu. Like, don't do that, right? So he takes, takes. Yeah. Now I don't need to sack anything. Very solid. Mm hmm. Keeping things like calm. Rookie one. I want to play bishop d6, but that might run straight into knight f5, initiating <laughs> massive complications. So bishop d7, the conservative uh, way from Karu. I'm definitely feeling queen g4, just to throw it out there. Or uh, hmm, something else. Knight of five does not wait. Yeah, queen somewhere. There you go, David. Yeah, it's gonna do. I it. Gonna you, try bro. to make. Yeah, gonna try to make Carl uncomfortable. Maybe knight of six. He'll play a queen h four. Follow that up with some sort of bishop f four ideas and uh, look for kingside initiative. Very nice. Very nice here. Queen h five. Very annoying move. We still have to develop the rest of the pieces for white. So moves. Uh, maybe knight a three, c three Sicilian. This is what it feels like. It's some type of elephant. Um, where we trade at the center. 92, 94. Possible. Big mm -hmm. fan of this move, though. I do. I actually like David's position. I am a fan of uh, the initiative that it feels like we have, practically. Yeah, I mean, that C3, if it was a mouse slip, definitely didn't seem too bad. And here, Hikaru is taking a bit of a think. I think he's deciding between either G6 or Knight of 6. I believe you have to kick that queen away. Oh, oh no, man. it goes Knight, Knight of 4. Of four. Wow. I thought there was, I thought there was like a bishop of four in the e6 pawn is hanging, but maybe it doesn't quite work. Like there is queen c1 check. There's also g6 and take on in B2. those lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In g6, yeah. But he could be heating up. And he happened. It's on the board. Yeah, wow, now it's time really to calculate. Play this. Like, right, I do, here. I do. Come on, bro. Takes, takes, takes. Check bishop f1, queen b2, or maybe just g6, but I have queen e5. There's probably a little bit too much to worry about for white. It's like, I'm not yeah. sure about queen c1, queen b2. I'm not sure about g6. Yeah, so let's say, wow, engine just says this is not a move. So maybe is it bishop takes? Rook takes? Probably just bishop yeah. takes. And I don't know, either queen c1 or g6. Yeah. Let me check first just to throw it in. Okay, bishop f1. G6. Take on b. No, no, here G6 you have to take. A... A... No, here I think you take on b2. Take on b2, right, right. Take on b2. And even there, the engine says Or zeros. no, apparently. So what is it? <laughs> <laughs> This is All right, crazy. Then this is wicked right now, bro. Do you like, cat and do you sorcery going on? I don't see, what, what, let me, what does the engine say here? Knight to c6. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Just develop. Good, and, that's and out of winning. my price range. Yeah, okay, we're going to go back to the game. Yep, yep. But in any case, I don't think David can afford to take on e6. It's just too much to calculate, and it's not clear in any line. Yeah. It's definitely difficult here. The nice C6 move, especially, is one that you're, you you have to find. He oh, he does for it. play it. <laughs> he going right wow. into the line. He going right into it, chat. He had to, right? Rook takes, queen C1, bishop F1, queen B2. And if he finds nice C6, Hikaru just up. Queen yeah, C1, you go queen C1, C1. here. Wow, oh, he plays it goodness. first. He finds it instantly. Hey, let's check in. Yeah, yeah, we got the fair play. Yeah, let's get the fair play over there. <laughs> let's get the fair play over there right now. No, no, no. y'all see this. Y'all see it live. Yeah, you gotta fair check for on. check for something. Yeah, yeah, we gotta but get yeah, the fair I think play. The whole idea is that rook d eight is coming next. So white's gonna have to drop the rook back, assuming. Uh, I assume, and then rook d eight will come. Your knight on b one completely pinned, can't stop rook d one, everything falls apart. Oh man, this is a wicked knight to c six, right? Like it just it's insane. I mean you so didn't even cool have to take on me too. It's just knight c six first, like bro. bro. And that took him that took him all of like five seconds too. I, I know, mean, granted, disgusting. he was probably calculating on David's time, but still all the more impressive just to blitz such a move out. Yeah, nice C6, so quick there. Look at him, right? He uh, in the zone there, playing a little bit of life. You can see he's confident, 
Davis still in the zone, though, thinking he doesn't seem rattled at all. Because it definitely feels like something there. But, I mean, he doesn't see that. We we have the eval bar here. Eval bar says he down the piece here, and there's no hope. But practically, as a human, you still feel like you have some some chances here. You did take on E6. King's still in the center. Yeah, I mean, I don't see how to create anything. Like, yeah. once again, I mean, you're permanently pinned on the first rank. Look at this. I'm willing to give you an exchange to get development. But, like, rook takes E7, knight takes E7, and then what? Yeah, and then what? That's probably what he's thinking about. And then what do you do? Like, you can't get out. Then you start realizing, dang, this position sucks. That's when you, you know, that hurts. When you calculate so much and you realize your position is like, sucks. Brutal. I mean, just <laughs> what a cold-blooded moment there, though. By nice the car. C6. And he stopped in his tracks. Stopped in his tracks. Is there like to any fighting chance? Just don't see it. I really don't. Let me see what the engine says. Best move is rook e2, b4. But rook e2, rook c6. D8. Yeah, rook like e2, rook, e2, rook, d8, rook d8. And then f4, and f4. But that's ridiculous. <laughs> exactly. Okay. That's ridiculous. I mean, I'd rather I'm resign right than, uh, than play yeah, f4 there, that. right? Yeah. Rook e2. This is um, very, very logical, but you also don't have a real good follow up. It says take on c6. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And then, I mean, I was trying yeah, to do that, but b4. again, it doesn't solve the, the back rank pin. Yep. Yep. Nice C6, music stops. Exactly. That was a mic drop moment. Nice C6, and it was silent in the room. <laughs> totally was. And David right now, he might have already just given up the game, but he wants to He wants to collect himself. He feels like he still hasn't recovered from that game, too. To play Rook E3. I mean, I wasn't even on any of the moves from the engine. So Rook E3, um, okay, what do we do, though, for Black? Just, Maybe just Rook castle, A, probably. Right? Oh, yeah, no, just I think Rook D8, Rook D8, right? I don't see any problem with leaving that king in the middle one move longer. Yeah, he can't. Un I mean, look at the pieces back here, right? Pin here, pin here. Queen is ridiculous down here. Karu seems perplexed. Maybe he sees an idea after rook d8. Yeah, he definitely is. Look at him. <laughs> what? I just play. <laughs> I just play this. I just play queen b2. Oh, there's also queen b2. Oh my oh, god! My goodness, I, I forgot about that one. That's why rook e2 was. Yeah, it just hit the natural. button. Yeah, Probably yeah, just want to get another game you know, real button, fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just hit the button, bro. Like, and just we get another game real fast. Yeah. This one didn't work. And he plays C3. I think I guess that was really messed him up, too. Yeah, this is a really rough turn of events. Could have been a 1 1 match. And we would be speaking a whole different, I mean, singing a whole different tune. Mm. But yeah, looking like three and a half, half uh, very shortly. B7. He's trying to keep the queen in there. Okay, a little trap. Come on, David. Come on, David. Trying Ooh, to muster man. up something. Something. Bishop F6. But yeah, trapped. after Bishop F6, you're never ever trapped here because white can't move the knight. All right. It's rook D8. C3. It's all over. Yep. There it is. And he's out. And there's the button. Yep. There it is. David's just cruising right now. Come, come on, bro. <laughs> Yo, you know what? This is what we're doing tonight. Oh, I stream. I'm going to stream tonight. You streaming today, Jeffrey? uh maybe i mean well if he plays h3 and a3 the entire match like in all of his white games i will also <laughs> I'm playing, I that's what i'm doing today this. i'm gonna play this tonight like it's just all bullets oh tonight. a3 gosh. h3 in honor of hikaru doing this nonsense here and making it work and making it work this is insane how do you keep a straight face playing like this <laughs> i'm looking at him <laughs> i would be slightly oh, tilted geez. i'm not gonna lie I, I really be, I really will be slightly tilted because, you know, you prep for this, right? Like he had time. I'm prepping for your good openings, for your Carol cons, for your Berlin, right? For your Queen's Gambit decline, what you like to play on like move 20, right? I'm trying to prep for you. And then you come in here and play H3 and A3 every game, right? And I'm down three, three and a half to a half. I, I'm slightly tilted. I'm not going to lie. I'm slightly oh, tilted I mean, if I'm David. How could you not as David here? And this is the last game before the finite break. He's got to find a way to punish this extracurricular stuff from uh from hikaru out of the gate all right yeah i mean and it's, it's pretty nice i think uh hikaru has lots of flexibility in the finketo openings of like the catalan he also plays the nimzo larson with 60 percent win rate plus um, against 2800 competition um he's very nice with that so the, the openings obviously with the finketos of the bishops he becomes very strong sharp at king's indian too as well uh, it really favors him playing these wild positions like this david has i think to it goes something work can probably go d4 again like we saw in game two it's so opening the center, like, again, David, trying to maneuver this knight around to g6, h4, but it does seem a little slow yet again. 
Definitely slow, but also 96. It's very strong, though. It is very strong. Planning that 9 h 4 Yeah, I see you, but still, I, I think I can go like 94, 95. Or even one. this. Yeah, just drop that fish back on H1 casually. Chilling. Chilling on H1. Chilling. Yeah, this is somehow became... He's like getting Nimzo Larson positions with an early G4. It's like crazy how he's doing that. I mean, both of these were like this with the B3, C4. He gets the bishop out a little bit further than B2. You castle and you play D4 and you open up. This is very strange, but it's working. I'm starting to understand it. H3, most modern opening theory. That's right, Chad. That's exactly right. <laughs> most, this is some modern opening theory. H3, this is honestly, G4. it's incredible because I think Hikaru has a very nice position again. Like you can yes. play this in a variety of ways. You can long castle play for your D4 idea. You can also right. play for the squares with knight E4. You put the other knight on C3. And black doesn't have a safe square for that king. You're not castling long. You're not leaving it in the center. The moment you castle short, white is going to bombard you with the potential F4, G5. So this is, I mean, I don't know what to say. This I mean, H3, G4 is... is... This is the how new is this he... the new wave, Jeffrey. This is the new wave, bro. I don't understand how he's able to get away with it. I don't know. I know. This is the new wave. You want to see this in OTB play? Yeah, I got a norm <laughs> from uh H3 and uh A3 move one. Knight G3. Oh, watch out, there's a knight of six and knight h five. Subtle threat here. Ooh, that's a nasty combo. Actually, let's just show that on the board. Takes queen takes knight h five. Oof. Nasty. Picking up a pawn. Picking up a pawn. So once again for David. The move you want to play is castles, but I'm worried about like a knight of five jump. That's like mate in five if you get castle. Feel like knight h4, bishop h1. Hang on a Jeez. second. I thought there was still knight of six, knight h5, but yeah, maybe it's much safer just to keep that monster bishop on the dag. Absolutely. Yeah, very nice diag here. And of course, now we can put the queen on g6 in some cases, maybe g5, but that runs into f4. I have to be careful. There's also bishop. I can't forget about the sneaky bishop in the corner. Yeah, you can't, but also that bishop on h1, just dynamite. Here, I think you can take with either the bishop or the queen. He tells bishop. He tells bishop, bishop takes e4. Yeah, I mean, Hikara would call that just a, a wooden shield there in the middle of the board. <laughs> what a boss. Engine haste is Why? What's wrong with g6? I think bishop just the general, two. yeah, oh, he drops wow. back with bishop f4 is coming uh, very shortly, maybe once you play a move like Rook F1. Get out of this diagonal. But also, I mean, he could just let it happen. He we could. I mean, he could even long cast and play F4. Give you, I'll give you the Rook if you want in exchange for that open diagonal. I'm just going to mate you. He's up time once again. Up time, up in a position. It feels like here, engine likes white. Who knew you could get these type of positions from H3 and A3 on move one? Who knew? And there's Who just, knew, Chad? again, no ideas. Like, I want to play for f5 <laughs> for black, but then you just open g5 for white. You expose your king. So besides that, I mean, c5 oh, is slow. Yeah, castles, but now you're just expecting long castles from Mikaro to hmm. calm before the storm. At some point, there could be a knight f5 idea lurking. There Ooh. could be this f4, which we were highlighting earlier. Absolutely. It feels like a mate in five. In fact, maybe not five, but closer to being a mate in something. Castle queen side, I mean, you see the bishops are swiping the board here, ready to go. All we need to do is get our king safe and open up everything on this side of the board. And this game is virtually over here. Oof, pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. <laughs> Just love watching Hikaru making those faces. <laughs> He's thinking if he has something concrete, probably calculating knight of five, the more that I look at it. But I still feel like you get your king to safety and then I mean, as they say, threat is stronger than the execution. In the execution, very nice. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, knight of five is very strong here, but again, yeah, casting first just seems better. Seems better, more accurate, and then maybe a knight of five. Place f four. You don't Whoa. care about nothing. That I don't up. care Hold about the none phone of this. Now, if I take on f four, okay, spinkers. What's going queens, on? I think probably here. Queen's three, f six. Oh no, there's no queen c three. Engine doesn't like it. Okay, so maybe. Oh my god, is it a knight h five? Is that his concept? Knight h5 it? Oh, come on. Give me That's a break. nasty. And then takes, and then takes. Oh, there's bishop h7. The no, there's bishop h7 mate. Oh, my goodness, bro. This is gross. Chad, look at this. This is disgusting. Disgusting. Fish. This is disgusting. Is this actually about to happen here? So you, you just can't take it. You just don't want that to happen, uh, right? Yoy. You just don't even think about. But if you don't take, happen. I could be, I mean, 
There's FE5. First of all, there's also F5. F5. Oof. Oof. H3 move one, chat. This is what I'm saying. I'm about to be playing this. <laughs> oh, and Knight H5. Knight H5 on the board. Oh, that's checking. Oh, it's hey, on the checking. Board. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chess comp checking. Yeah, we're going to have to check him. <laughs> yeah, take him all back. We're going to have to check this man. Savage. Yeah, this is, I mean, can we check for, should we, uh, is it too early to make a beads reference? But yeah, we're going to have to check This is sick. Him. This is sick from him. Just check sick. Him. Right. Yeah, this is disgusting. Oh, man. And F6, there's bishop g6. F5 would be gf5. There's oh, just no on. way to stop on, all the F6. Threats. Right, F6. First off, fine go tripping, right? Don't play F6. Secondly, look at this, bro. This is terrible. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, man. Yeah. Everything David, attacked over here. Things Jeez. have gone horribly wrong. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Tough game. Tough game, bro. Tough game. And Bishop F7, there's Knight G6. There's just really no way to, to cover everything. Yeah, they this H three stuff. This is insane, bro. You be, you can play G five, I think. And then well, after I guess rook takes and queen rook, queen C three. Oh, oh, oh twice, my god! Show that idea. Are you kidding G5 me? Takes rook takes. Blasting open the battery and queen three would be an unstoppable mate on G seven. Nasty, very nasty. Nice, fine. He might actually play this because knight G six. I guess that's David's trick. Like after bishop G six, there would be a knight F three. So not something you want to allow. All right. But yeah, he's gonna keep it simple here. Just castles and castles. He's got it. Go knight d5 or plenty of good options, I'm sure. Knight d5 takes, uh, I mean, he's still winning. At least David yeah. has survived here. Like, he's yeah, he still definitely coming survived. away with this. It's even material. I know that hikar has got two bishops and a pretty mighty pair at that. But still, okay. Still fighting. Still fighting. <laughs> this is fighting right here. He's still fighting, you know. He getting hit, but he fighting though. He ain't down yet. I mean, it does make sense. He is not down yet. Bishop takes d five with check. He's trying to figure out the, the kill shot here. Hikaru, you could even recapture with the c pawn. In fact, just to put Black in a complete bind, mm. tie him down. Maybe you would have complete domination over that position. But okay, he takes with the bishop. This is weirdly enough. He is really back in the game. Well, Rook like, of this is. Hang on a second. Like... What if I play rook f1 threatening rook takes f6 and a rook f1? Knight g6 first? Ah, knight g6 with the idea to cut me off. Knight uh, five. five. Uh -huh. Aha. Right. I think you have to go for that. But the moment your knight le leaves, I might think of h4. Okay, c6. But All now, right, can wait we just take a second. Rook f1? rook f6, rook f6, rook f1, cd5. Right. You get a lot of pieces there. Oh, you get a lot of queen. pieces. Yeah, you get a yeah. lot of pieces. The car yeah. thinks better of it. Bishop h1. I guess Still I'll... rook f6. Massive threat that needs to be dealt with. Knight g6. Oh, he's going to play with oh. e4, c5, pushing past c5, it. lock that bishop up. Bishop temporarily in jail. I think you have to play your knight g6 move, though. Yeah, somehow he's no back the way the around it by a lot here. b6, Wait, now, no, 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 now it's there. Come on, Wait, bro. It can't hold be there on, hold on. Lot, right? Rook f6, rook f6, rook f1, d4. Bishop d4. But then queen d4. Oh, Which is takes. why maybe you maybe take on f6 one. first in that line. Takes, like takes. rook f6, rook f6, rook f1, Let's d4. See. Let's see. Rook, f, rook f6, rook f1, d4. Oh, and and then you f6. play rook takes f6. And then and bishop, bishop takes d4, d4 and you're hunting. And I think he bishop sees d4. it. Yeah, rook f1, d4, rook f6. Yeah, wow. And then bishop d4. And then we're trying to go for mate here. Bishop d4, queen h7 is next. So maybe king e6. Oh, but we have queen h7. Where are Let you running though? In. Queen h7. H7 and Bishop C6. Oh, Bishop G, C6. Get him off the board. Forgot Ooh, about that sniper. Bishop there. Forgot the Bishop in the corner <laughs> pocket. Bishop in the corner. The corner pocket. Uh, Dang. Got him out of there. And that does bring us to our first break. Wow, that's the first break here, guys. Well, as you see, the match score says five plus one. Five point. Uh, five plus one portion goes to Ikaru with. Three and a half. Sorry, four, four and, and a half. half. Yeah, four and yeah, a half. Four and a half to a half. Four and a half to a half there. Jeffrey, this was a dominating performance as, of course, the predictions, the smarter chess, everything said that. And it looks like smarter chess so far is correct. What do you think, Jeffrey? Yeah, I mean, I still just feels like David was rattled after that second game and he should have won that. 
Yeah. Um, since then, I mean, he's not been able to recover from this A3, H3, yeah. Carver's antics. Maybe you'll have to look at it on the break. Who knows? But That's right. whatever. Yeah. Scott, we'll see. We'll see if he can come back. Yeah, we'll see if we can come back. We'll take a short break, guys, and we'll be back with the 3 plus 1. Chess Kid is fun. Chess is great for the brain, but it's also fun to play. And Chess Kid makes it easy to have fun. Whether your child is a total beginner or a prodigy, they can hop on and find a well-matched opponent from around the world at any time. Chess Kid is the safe, parent-approved way for your child to play chess online. Chess Kid is educational. To kids, it feels just like playing, but chess is a great way to learn patience, strategy, and critical thinking. Chess Kid features a comprehensive training program that guides kids to level up on their way to mastery. There are more than 50,000 chess puzzles and a whole library of entertaining videos that teach strategies, tactics, openings, and end games specifically for kids. Chess Kid is easy. Whether you're a parent helping your child, a coach managing dozens of kids, or a school of hundreds, signing up is free and easy, so what are you waiting for? There he is. There is the man. He is down, but he is not out. That is David Paravian, ready to go at it and come back and try to do an insurmountable comeback. Of course, down three games to Icaro. That's not a lot of games, but against Icaro, it is. And it's very difficult sometimes to try to come back, as you see the player card here. His strength is creativity. 
we've been seeing a lot of that with the H3A3 from Ikaru today. He qualified here um, the SCC qualifier to get to uh, the main event here. So real quick, three, uh, four and a half, in fact. Sorry, he's down four games. Four and a half to a half here, Jeffrey. What's got to happen? Yeah, it has been rough. Um, but as you mentioned, a very creative player. I watched this uh, SCC qualifier finals match against Min very closely. He escaped several losing positions there just with his tactical vision and also his ability to squirm out of certain spots. So we haven't seen that today just yet. Obviously, Hikaru, a whole nother animal. So I hope that he, he digs deep and battles the best he can. Yeah, I think Hikaru has a, a punishing type of style where like you just can't make many mistakes. And then when one mistake turns into more and then you lose and it's just very difficult. Yeah, Hikaru with the French defense. All right, Jeffrey, how you feel about that, <laughs> Jeff? Jeff? The you third the, different the response. Yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did, I did. Right, got the, the draw? True. It didn't really, I didn't get what I want, but I don't think I can blame the opening. Here we see a very interesting trade with Bishop G5 followed by H6, Bishop G2. And I don't quite recall the reputation for this. Like, I thought it was bad for black, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. But we'll see what uh, what Akaro has planned. Actually, I'm not kind of too familiar with this line, actually. Bishop g5, h6. Yeah, I'm, I actually always take. Um, after bishop b4, I always take on d5. Oh, d5, to simplify I'm, it. Uh -huh. Yeah, just to simplify it. First time I've seen this position here, f3, wow. Just allowing queen h4, but bishop f2 is there. Whoa. Ooh, nice. Yeah, what show is that this? one. What show is that this? line. This okay, is check. very, very critical. Knight takes, bishop f4. Bishop f2. Didn't check. C3. C3. Oh, you're takes. collecting a ton of pawns. That's what I'm saying here, right? And I mean, like, what is Gotta this? with a bishop. Yeah, queen C3. What is this really? And then king F2. Huh. And like, this is what we have. I still like so, white. I still like white. Let's yeah, get a head count, bad. though. Let's get a head count. So you got three pawns. Yeah. So far, right? I guess you can't. Right. Maybe you can actually take a fourth on E5. I'm not sure. So <laughs> one... Really? Yeah, rooks one, you have queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Rooks one, you've got queen b2, queen b6. Jeffrey, Jeffrey here. Oh my goodness. He going for it. Look at the riskiness here. And go back, maybe. And you got four pawns. Wow. Yeah, and this would have been threes. interesting. But Hikaru is not going to entertain us with that. He's going to enter entertain us with a knight on h7, though. What do you make of that? Ooh, a knight on h7. Well, this is pretty gross. I'm not going to say anything else. But, like, that's just the best way to put it. This is a disgusting knight. But you have to put it on like g6 or d7 i mean this is the bad thing about the french right is if you get a bad position it's it's bad it's really bad and this this doesn't look that good for ikaro you know well that h5 move does set up uh the knight's post on g6 so now his whole point is you can't ever kick him with h4 h5 yourself so yeah i mean i agree with you it does look problematic especially after c3 just keep the queens followed by bishop d3 Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, I don't like trading there. I thought Whoa. he'd keep queens. Yeah, absolutely. What is he doing? Damn it. Yeah, okay. Feels, wow. I mean, I understand he wants to stop the bleeding here. At least he's very safe. I don't think he can ever lose this position. Yeah, that's true. It's just, uh, yeah, you would love to see more than trading the queens there. Um, black is totally fine, too, as well, though. Usually in these positions, I mean, black is fine. We do have the space on E5, but we can't really use it that much yet. Mm -hmm. We like to play G4 and F5. But you can't even do that. So, Definitely. yeah, I don't think you're ever getting f5 in this game. A6, a nice move by Akaro, restricting the knight, and b3 mm -hmm. as well, restricting the black knight on a5. So, here as white, I'd be looking to try and get my bishop into like a more active square. I'm not sure. Uh, something maybe like knight f3 here, followed by bishop. Okay, first rook g1, and then bishop b6, get some activity. Oh, yeah, rich you want bishop b6. Very nice. Stopping anything going to d8. You have to develop pretty obvious bishop d3. Knight mm -hmm. to e7. Nice maneuvering from Hikaru here. It's a back and forth game. Trying to grind, gain some ground somewhere. a4 stopping b5. And f6. Very nice pawn break. You control the pawn breaks. You control the game. But we have a pawn break as well on c4. f6 is a very nice break. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. I'm not sure what to make of that. You do uh, weaken the e6 pawn, but at the same time, Get, get a nice square for your key on f7. There's no knight Beautiful. g5 you have to worry about. So wow. definitely pros and cons to that. Absolutely. Of course, I can't play knight d4. I would love to play knight d4 and like take on f6 and then try to bully e6. But even that, this takes a long time. Rook d2, maybe trying for e2 and eventually doing something on the e5. 
Yeah, this is going to be a very slow maneuvering game. Black has an idea. Okay, b5 is one. I think after ab5, uh, he intends to capture with the bishop. Get rid of the uh, bishop. Exchanging a pair of bishops, neutralizing the bishop pair. So David most likely shouldn't allow that. I would go a5 probably. A5. And also trading bishops. Makes e6 weak, but it can be easily defended. Yeah, a5 is good. Right, yeah. I fan. think you definitely don't trade bishops. I'm also wondering about rook a1. Rook a1, ba4, and maybe just ba4. BA4 takes them, Rook A1, but also Rook A1 first, but then B4. Mm -hmm. Hard to evaluate all of these. And there's always a Rook H6, Rook G6 idea that I want to point out. Um, uh, yeah, this that is White super has annoying. to be aware of. Uh, yeah, pressuring that weakness on G3. That is correct. You see this a lot in the French. <laughs> it's going right forward. Yeah. That's an annoying idea. Oh, my goodness. So annoying. I don't even deal with this because the Knights are so solid here, defending each other. Well, the good news for white is after rook g6, knight g3 is still not a threat due to the pin. Right. And rook g4, you still have knight h2 at your disposal. However, <laughs> the minus for white is black is so rock solid everywhere. You don't have a single break. Now with the pawn on b5, no more c4. And yeah, I don't really see what plans there are. That's how the French is too a lot of times. You get these annoying positions where it's rock solid. You try to push for more and you end up losing. But like king a5, I think he just wants something like this. Bishop to c5. Trying to get but the there's always there. knight c6, so I don't uh, think you can yeah. venture any further. Yikes. Oh, he goes back rook h8. Maybe, I think Hikar is content with just waiting. He knows that um, if David doesn't overextend, he doesn't really have any um, sort of targets to, to go after. So he's just going to wait here, rook h8, rook h6. Or not. And shuffle the other round. It should be six. Long-winded maneuvering game. It takes a while. It should be six. Yeah, I don't really. I I mean, I'm trying to evaluate if you reconfigure your knights, like puts the other knight on g four, but I don't see the benefit. So I would honestly just come back with that knight, go knight h f five. Here you go. So he goes to g four. It's gonna try to this. Yeah. Well, not rookie two. At least. Well, where's he going? Oh, he wants to pawn. I mean, no, okay. but you're never. I feel yeah. like you're never taking on e5 and giving up the g5 square, right? Right. Plus, they're putting pressure on it now. This is probably just. But perhaps like, we're like yeah we're better. I mean, I still feel like we're at a standstill. Both sides right. don't have breaks. They don't really have clear weaknesses either. It's just a waiting a lot game. Of, a lot two. of uh, waiting. C3, for right? You see, yeah, nothing. This is waiting. Is waiting here. Can be two. Yeah, I trying to see if you go ninety seven. Yeah, I mean, there's just king b two. Not really, not much going on here at all. At all here, they could we could shuffle it out, but I think Icaro always likes to push for more. Always, yeah, he takes. Whoa, that Whoa. is surprising. Huge, very surprising. And after f five, he doesn't really care about knight g five. I guess. I guess. Yeah, I'm. I'm very, very. Very intrigued to see what he has with this. Knight e7, knight g5, rook f1, bishop d4. What is this move? Defending, okay. Guess he wants king j or rook f8. Yeah, just to try and play on the f file. Yeah, he's totally fine, he says. He Carl's like, yeah, I'm good. Like, so what? Look at the knight controlling the squares. That is a g8, good point. Seven, he king does here. control that critical g6 square, so your bishop cannot harass me. Wow, this is nice. Yeah, you maybe, see that. maybe he gets away with this. Oh, hold on. But I just I see an idea for white now. What if what I go B4? Okay, B4 with the idea? With bishop C5. Oh, you want bishop C5. Okay, so hmm. what can I do about this? I could just go knight C6. Anyway? Knight C6? Ah, okay. You bishop want to take C5? on before rook C3. Oh, wow. Engine's like, that is not oh, but a now move. bishop C5 and bishop G6. Yeah, I was going to say Ooh, relinquish yikes. the G6 Oof. square. And the rook's like, I mean, this is crazy. No so square. You can rook. barely move. I think he really missed there. that idea, though. He played rook c2, which is a bit slow. And this has given Hikaru the opportunity to jump in with the other knights f5. Knight to f5, very strong knights. These knights, as he likes to say. Bishop takes f5. This is, this is uh, you going to give this up? I don't think so. There's a bishop g6. So bishop f5, rook f5 is also Quite not annoying. really what you want. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But there's really not, yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know what to suggest though. Like G three is hey, it's AC, yeah, yeah, right. It's hey. got to play solid. Yeah, what else can we do here? Wait, oh, it, isn't there oh, a five pawn? Hey? Oh my Wait goodness. a minute. That's it. Ninety. Hold up, hold up. Ninety five. Does he go <laughs> rookie? Do we see anything there? I'm gonna see any. No, no, no. Rookie one. Rookie one knight c six. No, this doesn't work for white. Yeah, there's uh, there's no expression. He definitely hung a pawn there, but there is no expression from us. Good, calm and collected there. Now you can go either knight d three or knight c six. But probably knight c six. I like a bit more. Mm, knight c six starting knight d four. They say, yes, Ooh, B4. Major. oh, he found B four. Oh my goodness! Whoa, Yo, what a hey, shot! Checking. Yeah, we got a checking, checking. Yeah, we got. Oh gotta, my! Gotta and it. now knight six. This it's is a great arbiter. inclusion. A five, huge target. Whole position collapsing now for David. You take on C three and D four. Dang, D four was nasty. I C six, but we saw B four even stronger. Oh, and Rook A five comes with check. Good oh, grief. Man. And E five. Oh man, it's come just pieces. piling up. So F five, no good. So G6 oh, Bishop B eight. <laughs> wow, Bishop B eight for Bishop G six. Knight B four next. Ugh. Every piece working together here. Rook a2. Knight d3 is, is a Knight d3. Huh. Knight Ooh. f2. And a resi. And a resi. Five and a half. Yo, kid, hey, we, we got to. Let's get some Davis in the chat, man. I, uh, he got to get a game. You know what I mean? He has to get a game, right? It's right? looking rough. Jeffrey, can he get a game, Jeffrey? <laughs> oh, man. And one b4 by Hikaru. So He's slightly. Doing... I want to say this is like a principled approach now that at least he's fighting for some squares, but yeah, his car is just going to keep on rolling with these these uh, offbeat openings. Yeah, I'm I'm rooting for David. I'm rooting for David to at least crack one of these openings. Okay, he's tried H3, A3, B4. It doesn't matter what he's playing; he's winning right now. And David needs to strike somewhere. Hopefully, he's able to strike in this game. I already like Black's position. Well. In retrospect, though, I think the D5 pawn, I mean, to play a bit of devil's advocate, That's true. it's going to be a permanent weakness that you have to worry about. So I think, again, Hikaru's like this position. Maybe just go rookie one here, not to blunder anything, uh, any tactics along the E file. Play very safe, very solid, D5. Sort of London-esque, but you actually like the knights misplaced, like, where do you put your pieces? I guess you have to slowly develop. A rookie one definitely seems. I think, yeah, you start with rookie sharp. one, then knight d2 next. Rookie one, knight d2, knight f3. Yeah, and for for black, I mean, the bishop on f6, it's not terrible by any means, mm -hmm. but you do stare right into this brick wall with the c3, d4, e3 structure. So long term, I feel like white. What? Oh, he wants to. I was not expecting, but I Add guess you can get away with it. Wow, I guess he can. Yeah, rookie one next and this bullied upon. Wow. Oh, what? Whoa, D4. All right, David says Oh, no, my goodness. Up. David, come on, David. Come on, swing back. Swing back, David. I like it. That's a strong move. So if CD4, Ooh. there is knight D4, Sheesh. which yep. would be huge. Uh, uh. Everything. Lots David. of good ideas here. The bishops just start shining. So... What if you take on c6 for white? This is my question. So you mean uh, d4, I'll take on c6 first? Yeah. Okay, so we got to take back, right? Wait, do I have... I'm not anything? sure. I'm not sure. You might have some intermezzos. You have both d3, d3, and dc3, actually. Yeah, they're both moves. I wonder, does this work? Here, and maybe d8? I take on... I think I take on e8 here. e8. Just gobble as much as I can. Takes, takes, and c2. Oh, you know, and both rooks are hanging. But, what is and this? the knight? But how somehow white is swimming. Everything's like, hanging. Crazy. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, don't forget that white is up a rook and a knight in the current position. Yeah, this is nuts right now. This is bananas. Um, but it is neither here nor there. He's played f3, another way to deal with uh, Let's see what happened. Tactics. F3. Played f3 here. F3. Okay, now we're going to play d4 next. So wait, do we take it now? No, he has knight yeah, c3 see. after this trading a, queens. Hmm. Yeah, this is a crucial moment. I feel like dc is the way to go with your queen d1 and c2 ideas in the air. We see David with the hair twirl action. He knows that this is his chance to pounce. Twirled in the fade. He twirled in the fade, guys. He had a lot more hair. Then he got a little fade there. You see the line up crispy. And he twirled in it right now as he's sitting here trying to figure out what to do. Fighting back as he's fighting this monster, he probably. Yeah, Carl, he might have seen something. He's shaking his head there, looking around, looking at the ceiling, looking at his uh, orange background. 
<laughs> wonder if he sees a nice continuation here for David. Shaking his head. He always says that. You know, it's just like, oh, so poor. So poor. Bro, you're, <laughs> bro, you're up five games, bro. Yeah, even if, five he's games. Up, even if he's adopting his opponent, he could, he'll say these kinds of things. Right, yeah. He's just like that. You know, he likes to be critical of himself a lot. All right, so what do we do here? I'm looking, I'm still liking D takes E3. And if Knight takes E3, I think I take on E3. So you like DC3? I do. Okay, and Queen D8? And we take okay, rook eight. a d eight. No, I, I, I take with the a. Right. I, I take, oh, take with a, the a, with the a, a rook. A. Take yeah, a. so that I, have, I still have rookie three. And I saw knight. Oh, you have rookie three now, right? Rookie three now. So Whoa! either way, what sorry to sorry else? to cut you short. He played bishop e six. That was not a move I was considering. Wow, bishop e six, not a move we we considered at all. In fact, we did not even but check this. Apparently, move. the engine thinks that this is good because regardless of how you take, I guess bishop c four. Very nice. Is his so. idea. And then he's going to take on d4 tactically, just like we saw Andre can do this to who again? That game? I forgot. I think you did commentary on it, too. But he took on d5. And then Drake oh, wow. I forgot what that was. It was like a check, pawn on a6, long diagonal bishop thing. But this reminds me of that. Oh, course. yeah, yeah, against Levon. I, yeah, yeah, Levon, yeah, yeah, that game. Yeah, yeah. He played one. white. Sure. He played white. Yeah, yeah. It was very nasty tactic he found. It kind of looks like that with the same kind of uh, idea. D4. All right, Hikaru's going to try and exchange some stuff off, relieve some of the pressure. Take on d8, probably rook e1, I guess. But it's very passive for for white. Hmm. Yeah, very passive. I mean, the knight is still... Dang, I can't move it yet. I guess oh, it I is two pawns after all, though. It is right. two pawns. So maybe he just wants to sure. say, all right, I'll play f4 next. I'll just play with my bishop on g2, rook on e1 for the moment. And yeah, you show me, show me your compensation. Oh, now he gets out. Now Wait, gets why out. did he allow knight a3? I don't like I mean, this. He played that boy so quick. I mean, obviously, you got to get that knight out. Rook c1, now he wants to... Rook c1, knight c2. I think Hikaru's out of the woods. He just says, I'll give you the pawn. It's whatever. You can have it, bro. Take with the bishop, yeah, you that... get pinned. After king h1, maybe king f4. But I guess as David, yeah, you go rook e3 here. I think he doesn't have any winning chances. Just go rook e3, take that. Swap another rook pair with rook d2. Call it a draw and at mm -hmm. least get yourself... Stop the bleeding. Right? Stop the bleeding. Get get yourself uh, back on the board here. Hey, that looked better on the scoreboard. I'd be fine with that. Five and a half, one and a half. Shoot. You know, oh, one, one to six. Like, like, oh, man, you getting beat, but at least you beat him. Like, no, I didn't beat him. I got two draws, but still, <laughs> I'm up. I'm still on the board. Still on the board. Stop the bleeding. Yep. It's going to be very hard to but lose how... this one. Yeah, no, here he's not going to lose, but how, how can... I'm wondering if they're going to play this on a little bit. Yes, Hikaru is very relentless with that, and it looks like he is playing on so far. <laughs> he wants to just play this boy on, milk the clock as well. He declined a draw offer? Let me see. Um, Dropstone offered a draw. And wow. he's thinking about it. <laughs> wow, really? What yeah, is that? He's going to make him earn it. He he's declined the draw, it. bro. Oh, my you are such a beast. Wow. He literally declined it. Well, I mean, oh, we've right. already seen the A3, H3. This could be another episode of, of that disrespect. Speed Jeffrey, run. they all on the same side, Jeffrey. All the pawns on the They're the same pawns, Jeffrey. I'm no, I mean, even, <laughs> even my dad could draw this against the <laughs> that's, the, <laughs> that's the truth. Uh, oh, man. Chat, this is a draw all the way. But, all right, I mean, I understand. I understand the meta from Hikaru. He knows that in bullet... He's a huge favorite if he has uh, any sort of lead there. So just to play fewer five-minute games uh, makes sense from, from that regard. Yeah, stalling the clock too as well. I think it's a very mat good match strategy, of course. Um, is a, hey, you know, yeah, I'm up, but I want to win this all the way. No questions asked at all. I'm going to play this out as long as we can. And uh, I should mention it's also getting a little bit late there for David, late in the evening. Maybe he wants to put him to sleep in this end game. Mm, yeah. Definitely can go to sleep real quick here. Real fast, chat. Real fast. Yeah, there's nothing here. Hikaru thinking. He ain't really thinking. <laughs> He's not really thinking. He's just milking the clock, chat. Milking the clock. I mean, what else, what 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 other things can we discuss? You following World Cup? I mean, why? Huh, you know what? Yeah, right. Exactly, chat. Right, World Cup. You know, who's your team? What's going on? What you have for breakfast, chat? 
We can go through your whole day right now. It's gonna we're gonna be here a while. Well, what's your next tournament, Jeffrey? I actually have a long break. I'm gonna be on Christmas vacation pretty soon, going to Cancun, Mexico. So very excited about that. And yeah, just celebrating the holidays. Next tournament, probably in February, I, I would say. Where is that? Uh, I think it's it might be this local tournament in Dallas, uh, Southwest Class. Oh, Southwest Class. Okay. I'm familiar with that. Well, good luck to you, bro. Yeah, thank you. I saw you grinding as well. You had a great event there in Charlotte. Saw you streaming at all the updates. I did, man. It was great. Probably actually my greatest tournament I've ever played. I played four GMs, only lost to one. So it was a very nice uh, experience, confidence boost, and also just, you know, going forward, what I need to work on. This is pretty good. I got a tournament in January, so wishing the best. Just keep working. Oh, man, that is awesome. And I think I speak for everybody in the room. We all want to see you play more. Super underrated. I think Appreciate you know it. that by now. And, yeah, yeah just get you. more experience. Keep keep on uh, keep grinding. moving forward. Just keep grinding. That's all it is. And uh, we still here, Jeffrey. We're still here. <laughs> <laughs> we still here. The wow. paint has not dried up just yet. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, We're going to be here for a while. Well, be here for a while. I do admire that Hikaru really has no shame. Like, he just wants to do whatever is best for him in the match. Doesn't care about, I mean, he doesn't have to worry about us. Doesn't have to worry about the viewers. Just whatever <laughs> helps him win. That's what he's going to do. I say, you see, he pushed the pawn in there just so it, it, you know, the 50 moves thing. Like, I mean, he's going to be out here for a long time. <laughs> G4. Progress. Uh, okay. All right. He's trying to fight. Uh oh. There's nothing here, chat. I'm just trying to be hype. There's literally nothing here at all. Shuffle. Shuffle. Chad, we nope. never get his time back. You know, we never oh, get his time back. Goodness, right, he Chad? psyched so, him out there. I yeah, psyched yeah. him out, right? Enjoy this psyched time that we're having together. This meanless time. Literally, we just doing nothing, Chad. Yeah, we saw the graph there. It's down to 1%. So you're saying there's still a chance. A mighty 1%. <laughs> 1%. But hey, 1% is not 100, right? It's not at 100%. I have a chance. I actually have a chance. All right, here we go with the king wow. shuffle. Forty moves Chet, to go. Don't try this at home. Don't don't do this, Chet. Don't try this at home. unless you're in a SCC match. All right, unless you're in a SCC match. Yeah, we saw Wesley do a little bit of this, but it made a lot more sense, I think, uh, late in the game, just playing the games all the way out, running out the timer. It does feel early though. I how much it. time did he run out? Like, how long have we been here, Jeffrey? This yeah. is a long time. This is a long time, guys. Oh my goodness, this is such a long game. I mean, and hey. I have a feeling this might not be the last time in the match we'll see something like this, I guess. Look at that. Look at that. Hikaru checking the move counter. He wants to probably run his clock all the way down before he makes the uh, 50th move. Wow. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, Pravyan, he can, he can, he can pre-move like ten more moves with his king and, and just take a nap, just go to right. sleep here. That's right. Just take a nap. You really could pre-move your king, and just like you know, let me go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Get some food. I'll be right back. Wow. How many moves left? I'm not following. I'm not following either. I don't think anybody's <laughs> following. Nobody's following this right now. No, everybody's like, when is it going to end? Just count, right. count it. Count it. When are they done with this game right here? This seems like the moment. Yeah, Car taking a sip. Probably, yeah. probably we're at move fifty. I, I would guess. I mean, it felt like that move. We all move fifty, right? We all move one hundred twenty-seven right now, chat. One hundred twenty-seven. I mean, the way I think Icaro's psych part here definitely will. If you don't have a strong, you know, mental. You could you could have already cracked here now of course the chess is, is another story it's hard to play obviously Caro, but you know the a3 stuff the h3 stuff I, I can't even get a draw when it's a draw you know what i mean like he's not even giving me this i have to fight for everything it's a it's going to be a lot to face Icaro, whoever faces him oh yeah i mean he's gonna toy with you 
in every regard to the game. Like psychologically, I feel like he just wanted to get in your head there. Just yeah, drive David crazy. Oh my god. And goodness. Goodness. yeah, all right. <laughs> We're back. We're back now. <laughs> different opening. <laughs> every game he's playing something different. Oh you yeah, we goal. saw Kara Khan, we saw a Sicilian Khan, we saw a French, and now we get an Alakines. Every open I think he's just showing that I can beat him, which shows the level of strength he's playing at, right? Well he's played in every game he's played something different. Every game, and he's been able to win. Besides this one draw he just had there, obviously, but it's showing some extremely strong strength from the four time SCC champ. And I like this four pawns. I think it's picking up a lot of steam as the main response to the Alakines. You try and Take full control of the center and bolster it here. Here you can probably go Castle or Bishop B3. I think both moves are playable. Yeah, I'm a big fan of these positions for White, actually. I mean, of course, uh, Alakine or Aliakin. Al how did I say? Aliakin, right? You know, people are like, you're saying it wrong. You know, it's a very uh, provocative. <laughs> Those opening, people. Right? Those yeah. guys. Oh, you're saying it wrong. They like 1200, you know. But, uh, of course, there's no shame to the 1200s. But, you know, Al yeah, the Alakine. It's a, it's a very, very diff difficult opening sometimes to face. They do pressure the center a lot. But I think white didn't press. Black didn't pressure as much as they usually do. So I think he's okay. Maybe he's going to play F6, though, next. Right. Yes. I recall the bishop normally being on E7, and then they try and undermine you with F6. So bishop B4 mm, okay. gives the option, and David takes it by cutting off this bishop with the move C5. No, takes, takes. And yeah, I think you had to take on C3. Otherwise, there was a knight A4 ID, and your bishop might have been stranded. Try. Nice. So, yeah, we get this sort of structure, probably F6. Yeah, definitely F6. Break it up. C4, that might be too much. Knight B4, knight C2 ideas. Mm, Got to worry mm. about that. Wow, I guess we have to take on F6, huh? Well, it's still a nice position. You know, you control the center. You've got that bishop pair, which everybody loves. Mm -hmm. All right, he's going to chip... The other one with B6 also makes sense. Okay, takes sort of the Carol Khan esque with the bishop outside the pawn chain, type of Scandi with the D5 square. And a lot of blend of openings here. Nice bishop on F5. Knight H4 is coming up to me. Bishop B5. Would be an idea to, to go after the other bishop. Was bishop B5. Now, after knight E7, there is a C4 move which would have trapped your knight. So that's why he's leaving that square vacant um preparing to drop back in the case of c4 i like this though i like this for david oh yeah those bishops Definitely. are active these bishops are very active pieces the bishops 97 queen h4 would already be winning Ooh. on the spot wait a minute wait a minute and if you move the queen c4 traps the knight isn't this might be close so to, to, you have to, go you have to okay you have to play f6 but that weakens your king side 100 percent and then pawn takes i think you take with the pawn in fact maybe to keep you the have to too. i mean you can't yeah. let that knight jump into e5 e5 or the uncontested and then bishop h6 rook f7 and there's no and then you move knight h4 then, could oh. come in with with authority man e6 a mega target this is terrible for black <laughs> it is it is terrible. wait wait a oh, minute queen queen H4. H4. come david on got now. his chance come on. come on david come on david Breathe, David. Breathe. Oh, resignation on All the All right, he's on the board. Oh, on the score call, the first dub. <laughs> Back wow. to H three for Hikaru. Back to H three, like this is bread and butter. H three, G four. Well, until that yeah, that's a big dub. Kind of punishing Hikaru for you know dueling out that uh, obstacle bishop endgame. Yeah. But now he needs to prove that he can punish this a3 g4 opening this is a big moment i feel yeah if he can win uh two in a row he's gonna feel a lot better you know i think confidence raises you feel better about playing and then you know sometimes it even uh shakes up Hikaru. i've seen Hikaru lose what was that two in a row of course he has a big lead anyway he had a big lead but he lost that was a two duda actually cgc and he lost two in a row actually to duda even though he beat him like three four or oh before that something like that so, right right he can you, be streaky yeah, he can it be, can be streaky, streaky right it can sure. happen now, yeah. some sort of grob now we have, I guess the h3, he'll likely lose a tempo because I expect him to push h4 down the road. But still, I mean, it's a solid little structure here, probably d4, d4, keep it symmetrical. h4 now. Okay. Prediction is up to 2% now, guys. Look at that. Okay, that one win. <laughs> Slow Let's go. Slow and steady climbing. Yeah, every point 2%. matters. Don't count me out. Never count me out, says David. Two percent. 
you know, he's going to keep fighting until he drops. And this knight e6, I like it. He's going to maneuver the knight around to e6, maybe jump into f4. Oh, bishop e3 here. He doubled his chances. That's right, BJH. He doubled his chances. One game. That's all it takes. Double your now, chances. wait a second. Yeah, David had the same reaction as me. I'm stunned that Ikaru exchanged those bishops. And now... Nothing is controlling that f4 square. I feel like David can really massage the dark squares uh, in Hikaru's camp. Especially after 96. That's a very strong move. You have to maybe go 92 to deal with it. There's also a queen well, once d6. Once the something. other knight, I like it. Knight of wow. knight g6. He wants this one, yeah. Open up the bishop. If 92, maybe bishop g4. Um, Quite annoying, potentially. actually. Yeah, potentially annoying. Because you'd also bring a queen e3. Yeah, yeah you'd bring uh, all the pieces into the game. Quite annoying, actually. So, as a car, what do you do? Like h5, you cut off g6, but then the knight would just plant itself on e6. On e6. Hmm. How about maybe a move I... like queen f3? Yeah, he plays. Uh, it. He plays it, and then I can castle queen side. But maybe I go knight e2. Exactly. Because there's knight. Yeah, now knight e2. I don't give you the bishop g4. Right. And I also put my queen on e3. So some flexibility here after the queen f3 move. I like it. Queen f3. You also have queen g3. It reminds me of Sicilian. It reminds me of some type of Sicilian. Again, you go g4, g5. There's a, what is this? Which one is that? Time off Sicilian, g4, g5, queen f3, castle queen side. You play b3. You're right. Very, that very, can stem. Yeah, that yeah. can stem from a Tamanov, yes. Yeah, very nice. Very nice position, I think, here. For white here, aggressive intentions. So very now how does... Fun. David want to set this up because, yeah, knight e6, now probably knight g2 to counter this. However, those squares, d4 and f4. Wait a sec, maybe knight g2, knight d4? Anyway, I was just thinking that. Takes, takes, and the queen b4, and then king Exactly, f1. and that would force your king to uh, king f1, move. Yeah. So queen g3 instead. Attacking. Trying to understand this. So knight f4, knight g2, I guess. Is the point? Oh yeah, knight of four, ninety two, then ninety six. Yeah. He goes with the other knight. Ah, uh, <laughs> stupid you <could> reinforce. Stupid <laughs> you could knights. reinforce. Yeah, he's going uh, for it. Ninety two, yeah, ninety six. Just put the other one there. You just be a nuisance to society. Very, Although ninety six, maybe I go bishop h three. I'm gonna get rid of those knights. Yeah, we gotta get rid of them. You're right. Bishop h three is like, yo, these knights gotta go. It's too much going on. It's blocking everything. I do like Castles the castle first. Yeah, and like actually, it. I guess he can't keep this h file open. If black were to castle, there would suddenly be h5. Mm. And h5 you, is very you nice. you got to look out in that, in that, that uh, with that pawn storm coming forward. There's also the famous maybe g6, then h5. But also, of course, uh, they can play g5 after h or fg, playing g5 first. Bishop d7, hold on, Jeffrey. You know we got, we always <laughs> sack first thing later. Like got those ideas. <laughs> I don't think they tell. work quite yet. Black is uh, still solid. <laughs> Right, yeah, it's not there yet, but definitely, definitely got to remember this. Oh man, that's funny. And David wants to wants to castle well. long, get his king to save. So I like the move bishop h three, mm -hmm. force the knights off the board. Uh, you're not going to be able to keep that uh, that outpost. Knight h three, queen e five. Why is knight f two? It's not ready yet. Definitely some mm. potential. Lots of stuff you can do. Close there, but I guess knight h three. You just go rook h three. Love rook h three. Keep an eye on e five as well yeah there would be like a knight of four tactic but you just drop the rook back keep things simple and play a knight against bishop sort of Beautiful. position you also have some f4 in there too you can play f if you could flick nice. that in yeah i would love white's chances you got some you would open up pressure on the f file lots of different possibilities could come to fruition but it is david's move here does he castle queen side or if you castle oh, queen side okay. i take on e6 so yeah i think you have to go for this line maybe just queen c7 though in c7, we back up, and how do we put pressure on you? Nothing yet. Oh, it's h5. Or I play an anything. annoying move like queen e3 to stop your long castle idea. Oh, not it's sure. very annoying. Not sure. <laughs> it's quite annoying. I mean, I can go rick f3. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do after rick f3, though. Knight g3, knight f5. It's, it's tricky. Tricky. This knight's very, very bad. Very tricky. Black has a nice grip It is. It is dominated by the pawn c6. Yeah. Robert loves to illustrate that kind of configuration. But David is thinking a little bit too long for my liking. I think you just got to go with your gut. Oh, knight of four, big fella? He feel yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah. That's how you yeah, feel? Yeah, this was... Uh, <laughs> is this That's possible cute. opening up that discovery? 
That's cute. I might just take it to be honest. The king is in the center. Whoa, taking sack a full rook. Uh, take, the, uh... <laughs> check, check. No, there's nothing. He just blocks. He just blocks. I mean, yeah, this is too much. Especially perhaps too adventurous. Picaro is thinking about something. Maybe he's thinking about rook d7. Wait it, a minute. It's something, right? You can just smell it in the water, bro. You literally smell it. It's something. Rook takes takes knight of four. Takes takes. Yeah, you take with the queen. queen you've got rook d3 first. swinging in f7. But there's rook d8 though. There's rook d8. No, but rook d8 queen f7. We got a lot of. Oh pawns yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen f7. Oh, you mean we're taking on f4, not queen g4? Okay. Rook d7 yes. takes 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 takes. We're hitting f7. Rook f8. Rook check. No, but I mean, if you go with kind of that, then rook d3. This rook. Go with the other. All right. Yeah, yeah. Not better of it. I guess he didn't like rook uh, af8 at the end of mm -hmm. the line, and black would uh, have defend everything. Yeah. So yeah, this one. All right, more traditional stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, three ninety-two e5. Here it comes. And I like that f4 idea which you uh, mentioned a while back. So if, okay, first you gotta protect with king b2, and then I think you're gonna launch with f4. F was coming. Nothing. King B2. And he's out of there. He's out of there. David took the first chance he could get to get out of town there. F4 is very strong. This knight, it doesn't have the greatest squares. Wow. Knight C1 with the okay, reroute. Okay, he's going to maneuver. Yeah, he's going to reroute to D3 first. With the reroute. Still quite solid for both sides. I think David can. I'm looking at an F5 pawn break. I don't know if. That's good, but a few ideas. You can also be really solid here with bishop e6 and f6. That's how, that's probably, would, I like this route a lot. It is very solid. Bishop e6, knight d3, f6, take, take, queen g7, rook f8. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm, I feel like this is loose. This feels a little loose. f6, he's going for it. A take, bit, take. Yeah, maybe there's also h5 here. h5 with the idea of h6 to try and. Shattered there it pawn is. Team. But he's going to go for your There idea. it is. Yeah, this it's, is loose. But I mean, queen h7. Hold up. There's an h7 pawn. H7's hanging, my guy. Do you have an attack? Maybe we could Maybe try Maybe once f5? f5? Yeah, but I don't buy it. I mean, there's queen g6 there. Ah, oh, correct. You're right, the bishop. Yeah, yeah. yeah this feels nice. like a bluff. I mean, queen h7 to c5, c4. You think that could be dangerous? I, I, is that, this was what I was looking at. That is kind of dangerous. It's kind of annoying. But worst case, no. But I've got queen e seven there with a double attack. Oh, queen e seven. Yeah, gg. Beautiful, beautiful find. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about this at all. So if that's the case. Well, now it's there. Yeah, he's gonna keep the queen, but it looks like a clean pawn to me. Mm, like that h pawn here. is fast up the board. H five, h six, h seven. Ninety five. Ninety five. Oh, great spot. Ninety five. Great spot. There it is. He spots it. And a card with eight six. A rook d one. Tactics. Very nice. An immediate counter strike. David just got his first win. Akaro says, eh, just going to play h3 again. Keep things under control, and it's going to be a dub for Pretty him. dub. City, dub, city. Another dub for Akaro. You could go. No, Queen g7 hangs. Wow. I guess I got to move the I knight. Think... That's a good move. I don't have to move. Oh, there is still c4 to watch out for. All right, let me not uh, dig David's grave up just yet. What if I... Hmm, no, knight d3 is still c4. Yeah, what it's a good move. Here? It's a good move. That's what I'm trying. I don't have to move the knight. Maybe I go h5 or something. You don't. Yeah, but h5, c4. That's my threat. Uh, h5, c4, you're right. Okay, right. take some d8, knight f3 to cover the d4 square. David's got no time, though. I mean, he can fight on as much. Okay, b6. There is no bishop g4, c5 hanging. Hmm. All right, bishop g4, queen e3 drops back. Yeah, just keeping things under control is Hikaru. Two pawns you know to the good should be enough. He'll start yeah. pushing, I think. Maybe should do you be, do it now? Or do you go queen f5 and f3? I would just, yeah, I would just push that Just boy. push, yeah, huh? Just push it. All right, just pass pawns must be pushed. We heard it from the best. Push it again? Or are we missing something? Take, take, take. How do you start? I think it? you just push. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh he's okay. Go he went for, for this route. This. He went the fancy More route. More than enough. He oh, went to go off nice oh, the fancy route. The fancy route. Any per perp perpetual? chances if you hang on if you promote there is queen g1 queen d4. So he's trying to sidestep it first. Ah, queen a4 check, queen a4 check here controlling that square. Beautiful. <laughs> or or this or this. Oh, that Free moved it like that. Queen h1. Free moved like a boss, and that does wrap up the segment as well. The match clock just expired a short moment ago as wow. well. Wow. Wow. Yep.
Uh, looks looks good. Free card once again. Seven two, man. That man been cleaning up shop, chap. As you see, the scorecard says seven to two. So Raiden wait, that rings back. a bell. Hang on a sec. That rings a bell. Maybe gotta give a shout out. Hate to do this, but tip of the cap to Smarter Chess who predicted this exactly. Very impressive. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Actually, Smarter Chess did predict that. Huh? That's crazy. Seven two. Yep. And then. Uh, the three one is the same, and then we see for the one one, it's going to be a two there for a score of twenty two to six. But I think Paravian's win percentage went up a little bit. It did, yeah, for a slight moment to two percent, might be back down to one. We'll see in any case. But now players are on break. I think we'll also <laughs> take this chance for ourselves. We'll see you all on the other side. All right. of oh, course, sorry, guys. Uh, excuse me. Oh yeah, but we're, we, uh, we just gotta, yeah, yeah. yeah, we gotta let everybody know about, uh, of course, the, the Speed Chess Championship, guys. If you're loving our coverage of the 2022 Speed Chess Championship, you're not gonna want to miss the FIDE World Rapid and Blitz Championship, one of the most highly coveted titles in over-the-board chess. Some of the world's best speed chess players will go head-to-head -head for the championship. Watch this space for updates. Are we, uh, as we expect, uh, FIDE to announce more details very soon. The event begins Monday, December 26th, and you can catch all the action here at twitch.tv slash chess guys. So, of course, we're going to take a short break ourselves, and we'll be right back with 3 plus 1. Chess Kid is fun. Chess is great for the brain, but it's also fun to play. And Chess Kid makes it easy to have fun. Whether your child is a total beginner or a prodigy, they can hop on and find a well-matched opponent from around the world at any time. Chess Kid is the safe, parent-approved way for your child to play chess online. Chess Kid is educational. To kids, it feels just like playing, but chess is a great way to learn patience, strategy, and critical thinking. Chess Kid features a comprehensive training program that guides kids to level up on their way to mastery. There are more than 50,000 chess puzzles and a whole library of entertaining videos that teach strategies, tactics, openings, and end games specifically for kids. Chess Kid is easy. Whether you're a parent helping your child, a coach managing dozens of kids, or a school of hundreds. Signing up is free and easy, so what are you waiting for? Just played an exciting game and want to see if you got a brilliancy? Or maybe where you could have improved? Chess.com's Game Review is just a click away. Game Review is a fast, fun, and instructive guided review of your games. See your accuracy and your opponent's accuracy. Check out the eval graph for an instant overview and scroll down to see how many great moves, best moves, blunders, and yes, brilliancies you have played. Learn from Chess.com's coach who gives move explanations, opening statistics, and shows you the best lines of play. With retry mistakes, you can get another shot at finding missed opportunities. Try game review today on web, iOS, or Android.
A storm is brewing. <gasps> Dimitri on Jake Drake is a wizard. Within the Tempest, the best have come to test their skills and brave the storm. Oh, he, oh, he missed it. Oh, he allowed a draw. <gasps> oh my goodness. The wheels, the wheels have come that, off. That could be the match. For some, this is familiar ground. Oh my goodness, 98? Whoa. One and second, one second. Move, move! For others, this is a fresh field to prove their prowess. This is insane. Oh, look at Fabi, exhausting every last resource. The battles will be electric. You can't stop it! Oh my god, it didn't happen! The moves will be fast. It's game over. It's winning. Oh my god. Yes, it is. He's gonna make a queen! The stakes will be high. He just grabs his head, he can't believe it. He just oh, gave man. away the pawn. The 2022 Speed Chess Championship is now. Fasten your speed belts, my friends. We're in for a wild ride. Chess Championships, GMGX here with my good friend, Kenny. When we left off, Hikaru just restored that five-point advantage. Um, been smooth sailing so far, though, hasn't it, James? Yeah, smooth sailing, of course. Uh, it's always usually a Hikaru show. It depends on who he's playing, obviously, but most times it's a Hikaru show. So it really is about David trying to bounce back here, which we do believe in him. He was able to strike back and crush his Alakai, in fact, Aliyek in there that he played and did not, didn't work out. So, And, uh, yeah, so I think David just got some, some work to do, to be honest. We all know that. He does for sure. And we've got some Blitz insights here from chess.com. We see, oh my God, 30, almost 30,000 games in Caro. He's, a, he's been a reg <laughs> since the OG days. Um, average accuracy, pretty nip and tuck for both players. That 87% from David, quite impressive. What else do you make uh, of this card? Very, very uh, strong. Obviously, and accuracy, he's just as accurate. 1% less, but the games is where Hikaru has 21,000 more games. Then, I mean, that's just insane. You know, the experience level there is, is quite, a, quite a huge gap, to say the least. Oh, yeah, there's a reason he's been a bullet and blitz juggernaut for years. And I saw the 9% losses by flag. He never really flags in positions where he's not losing, though. I think those... that. 8% of those stats were probably positions where he was just losing and he let the clock run out. So in yeah. the time scrambles, yeah, he's just, he's never letting his flag fall. Yeah, he's never let his flag, of course, one of the fastest to do it here. And uh, of course, second only to, um, to to Magnus here in the Blitz ratings and number one in Bullet. We have a Scandinavian oh, here. I think he's going to try on. every open. <laughs> he's, he really disrespect, is. Disrespect, bro. I mean, you it's know not, what? Look, I don't know if you, call, you would to... call it disrespect, though. It's just, it's really fun seeing all that variety. He's mainly an e4 e5 player and that's like literally Sorry. the one opening he hasn't essayed yet <laughs> that's fun man at this point we just gonna have to take it to chess boxing there is a big event coming up of course for that so of course uh oh, yes, at sir, this indeed. point man for the disrespect h3 a3 scandinavian i'm gonna play anything and everything in the book on you says hikaru and he's winning he's definitely winning let's see if he's he able to pull anything out with the scandy i know wesley has some very nasty files on the scandinavian so i'm curious to see Dave oh, up here. yeah, indeed. Ooh. Wesley's E4 chessboard course, of course, covered all the bases. Now, this queen d8 uh, did allow a doubling of pawns here at knight d5, opening up the discovery. And after the trade, I feel like David can be, he can claim a slight edge here due to the, the pawn structure. Absolutely. Just a slight edge here. You do see this a lot in the French type setups, but usually they'll go a6, b5, and the bishop is usually this way with the bishop on e7. So this reminds me of that. But Bishops outside the pawn chain, knight h4. This sort of looks like, which line is that? Is that the two knights, Carol Khan? Two knights, Carol Khan with the bishop Precisely. on f5. Precisely, yes, yes. You could get this exact same little setup here. And uh, in general, knight takes g6 would benefit flex pawn structure. He would then follow that up with f5 later on, uh, restoring mm -hmm. the little diamond pawn structure. Mm -hmm. So you sort of want to just leave that bishop on g6 right now it is a tall pawn, so no need to. Oh yeah, I'm not even going to take it. Why don't we just? I guess if knight of three, maybe bishop h five though. Uh, that one you don't want to allow. So maybe, it. maybe like a. Oh, but here bishop seven. I feel like. Wait, uh, I'm not sure why I didn't go bishop seven there, but any case, still really reasonable play from both sides. So annoying. Ah, he goes knight of six. So yeah, he is probably going to play bishop h five now. Oh. Okay, now we got a block, right? Are we just looking crazy here? 
Yeah, but that pin along the diagonal is quite annoying. Is it so perfect irritating. moment to strike with uh, with C5, or is that a bit too much? Uh, okay, and we have a note here. Hikaru has been looking up games of Herman Clemens on the breaks and laughing. Wow. So that Clemens opening, H3, is uh, <laughs> called the Clemens. I think it's A3-2. I'm not sure, but I know the Clemens one is H3. And we just got word that Hikaru was actually looking up theory in that. So, you know what? I think that's what I'm going to spend the rest of my day doing. In fact, still. Oh, well. you have got it. I just want to. serious right now. You know, I get it. He looked up some theory. So, I'm going to go do that too as well. Chat, I recommend you do the same. And let's all get together tonight, maybe on my stream. And let's talk about this theory we find. H3 is the Clemens open. Clemens, C L E M E N Z, I think. But let's, uh, let's look this up Z and let's talk about end. this. Yeah. See, <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's I mean, see what this is, Chad. Yeah, there. I was gonna say like some players or most players will look at the most topical lines, run it with the engine, figure out you know all the ins and outs of the latest theory. Other players, right. such as Hikaru, are gonna look at one H three and laugh. <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> each his own. Yeah, one H three and laugh. But who's actually laughing because it worked? It actually worked. I mean, Hikaru is the one, one laughing, time. evidently, laughing all the way to the right. bank with, with these uh, more innovative than openings. One time. Bro, a bro. This is crazy. So, hang on. I'm trying to calculate. Can I play a move like. Oh, no. Queen e4 check. You can take it. Take on d8 and X, exit out of the pin. So, he's going to play knight e4 instead. Very logical. Hey, knight e4? I like. I'm not even gonna lie. I like. I like Carl's position. I'm not a Scandi fan myself, but I am a fan of his position. Oh, for sure. He's dialing up uh, huge pressure everywhere, specifically on that diagonal plus the D file. If you were to take on D8 here, Rook D8 and play a move like Bishop D2, yeah. I think there would already be like some potential fireworks uh, regarding like a Knight F2 potentially. So Ooh. yeah, lots of things for David to worry about. Didn't like this at all. What is there? Is there something we're missing? Take, take. There's no checks. No good checks. Interesting. I don't see anything at B5. Ooh, B5 is move. nice. Although David might be counting on like a 95 at some point. But but B5 oh. is very strong. Because you'd force oh, the queen B5. back to B2. B5? Yeah, and queen E2, but then I have a weakness. And how do I follow? You do up have a weakness, B5? yeah. I mean, you've got my knight f2 idea at your disposal. I don't know if that's the best, but at the very least, you are going to win material of some sort. Isn't there just, oh, no, yeah, B5, so he goes for it. Mm. That's no, certainly the right to. first step. Now, I'm calculating knight f2, rook f2, bishop f2, queen f2. You take on f3. That should be good, though. That should be good. Yeah, and he goes he, for and it. He, agreed. he goes for it. He goes for it. I'm just getting an exchange out of it. Yeah, wow. Let's get the exchange. What about Rook D8 and move the knight? Oh, I can't move the knight. This is rad. This is, uh, I'm just losing yeah, material. Yeah, you can't. You can't. I'm yeah, literally just losing I take material. the queen and then the rook. Bro, he just lost a lot of material. What a move. Yikes. That's a tough move, bro. That's it. Yeah, you can't do, you can't do anything about this. Trying to come up with something. Hair twirling <laughs> like crazy, but I'm not <laughs> sure that's going to help him. Twirl in the fade. As usual, with this twirl in the fade. Trying to make something work. Oh, this E3? E3 is clever. Oh, oh but man. 4 check. Oh, man. All right. Hit the button. Hit the button. Let's start a new one. Hit the button. <laughs> and Akar is shaking Jeez. his head, too. I think regardless of his position, he's going to shake his head. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Up a queen. Oh, this is terrible. It's terrible. I'm not up two queens, bro. Braccio. Yeah, Braccio. not much for David. If he takes on B5, there's just Bishop F3. Now, here's the question. Will we see mm -hmm. yet another Clemens? Was Zikaru uh, making some updates there, improving the, the H3 theory? Hey, look, I would love to see it. I mean, we learning today. H3, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh all right. Uh, this, okay, is this is too traditional, though. This yeah. is too sound, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's too sound for what we're now we're bored with something that's obviously strange. But he has a very, very good record with the Larson system. He usually starts with Knight F3. 
Right, knight f3 first maybe more principled, but still very interesting. I think he can play a few different things. Knight f3 again is a move. Whoa, e4 is not what I was going to suggest, though. Yeah, that's usually not a move. But, I mean, hey, you know, he's going to make it work. He wanted to play e4, make it different. G3, <laughs> just pushing everything. H4, H5. Yeah, these are some funny moves to bang out. Probably knight f3 or h5. He's going to follow it up. Five for the center. H5, queen g4, queen g5. I think knight of fate though. You go knight of fate. Put this knight on e6. Okay, first he's, yeah, first gotta go d6. Ah, maybe okay. white throws in a d4 before uh I mean before black puts a puts a stop to that. Beautiful move. Beautiful. It has to open up or knight. Hold up, no 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 no. D4, you play uh E D4, knight oh, D4, there... queen f6. Oh, queen f6, what a move. Yes. E5 does not work. Knight takes, you take on b2, yikes. So now this was very good for black. Go ah, I wanted to suggest bishop g4 instead, Get the bring the bishop mm -hmm. out first. And then but okay, I mean, still, still, you, you have permanent control of d4 square, which is what's important. Bishop to h3, a6, d5 probably. Yeah, mm, maybe. And h4 maybe? No, but he just puts the knight on d4. Yeah, a6. This square is a problem. A6 is, yeah, it's a good move. You... Great lift uh, on a7 for your bishop. No more knight a4 ideas. And for a card, it's difficult. How do you, how do you really finish development? He's gonna try your knight h4 idea. Yeah, knight h4 for knight f5, I guess. But like d4 is just yeah. It's, so what? I thought he would go with this knight. It seemed a little better to at least have the bishop to help too. But no. Maybe he wants to. Do it twice. He wants to keep uh, some like knight f4 potential ideas in mind, making use of. Uh, like uh, hanging out on h4 if white were to cast right. it. But right. in this case, uh, maybe just take on e2 here, keep it simple, play bishop d4. Plays queen of six. We trade everything. There's a bad pawn on d4, though. And I get f4 in. No, but takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe just take it. Oh, he's going to. Knight d4, I knight. probably recapture with a piece. Bishop first, right? And then take with the knight. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. So I'm looking at. Bishop takes e6, but could be a little much. But I just want to give you that that uh, double those double d pawns you were mentioning. This is definitely not white wanted out of the opening. Oh here. wait a sec. Okay, I stuff. almost. What you got? I thought there was like a knight c2 sort of discovery because let's not forget about the f2 pawn. Scholars made ideas. Right. Oof. Sharp king d1. It's nothing there. But close, there is some stuff. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. That's not that's what he's aiming point. at. Like that's so funny, right? Knight b three doesn't work because the same idea. Queen can get out. I think he, he can do it. Six. Yeah, he does take on e six. Um. Yeah, no discoveries here. Knight c two or knight b three. You there's a knight f three eventually. There so is knight f three. Three, but I think I take it and then queen f three. Maybe take hit the rook. Do I have time to take rook on f? No, I don't have time to take on f seven. Wait, you might be onto something. Rook f1 and then bishop a uh, bishop e6 trying to play bishop a3, but he might have had knight c3 there. Oh to wow, trade. very very it's, sharp. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's a lot, right? Calculation wise, f4. Oh, very nice. Love it. Trying to open up shop. It's a wild game. I mean, I don't know what's going on here. I guess rook f1 is on tap. Maybe a knight f3 or knight f5. So for David, he might have to figure some things out concretely. Oh yeah, he's getting out the way. I like it. And then put a rook on the file with a smile here. Rook f1. <laughs> yeah, I do like the, the looks of rook f1. Maybe black's got to go knight d4 at some point just to uh, relieve that pressure line diagonal. Ooh, oh, b5. Definitely. b5. Spicing right. things up. Who, where, who castling where? What are we going to do here, right? What, what is this? Okay. Rick F1, you you ain't casting? Me either. I'm not casting. You're not either, bro. Here we go. Rick F1, strong move. Threatening takes on E5. And the only way... I think you have to go here, right? Yeah, now. the only way to, to deal with this, I think, is Knight D4. Because if you move the queen, you drop off that pawn E5. on E5. Then... What is this? This don't threaten anything. Oh, it's H5, I guess. Holy cow, this looks chaotic. Suddenly. What is... Exactly. Like, you can't take this. So we take here, he says. Lots of pawns hanging. There's a rook f5, potentially. Four here. Rook f5. Correct. Yeah, like if d5, rook f5. Then I take on mm, d5. Yeah. Yikes. I mean, talk about a position. What is actually going on? 
Maybe. Yikaru, no time. Oh, yeah, I just noticed that both players getting low on the clock in a razor-sharp position, so this could go either way. Absolutely. Maybe you go queen h5, and, like, if rook f5, you, you just play queen g4. There's d4. d4, d4, there's bishop b4 check. That's my concept. Ooh, oh, the d4, yeah, bishop b4 check. Yikes. It's getting nasty in there. Checks everywhere. It made it, actually. Very Tons quickly. of tactics in there. Like, g3 could also be hanging some lines. The open b file could be a factor. Castles. He just castled d4. Bishop oh, check. I thought I could he... sack. Hold on. But, okay, anyways. Goes for this. Oh, is there a knight takes d4? Knight d4, oh, queen g3, and was. everything was hanging. Oh, my God. Everything was hanging. He missed it. And Icaro saw it, too. You see, he's shaking his head there, shaking his head in disgust. But I think this he is saw still it. favorable for black. Like, if you go d5, I play knight d4 anyway. And that king oh, has nowhere take, take. to run, nowhere to hide on e1. Yeah. yeah, king in the middle of the street here right now, in the middle of the street, about to get hit by something. As, uh, black 10 seconds for David, though. Just got to keep moving. There's c6. Just keep moving. So Maybe many weeks. Just for... chill, bro. You want to trade? You might bro? have to. You Ooh. might have to force a queen trade somehow, some way. Rook D one. One. Okay. Now, yeah. Rook D. Keep Tucking attention. Roll. Yeah. Take on E four or H five. Take Takes. on E five. Knight F three. Ah, there could be a dangerous pin here. Knight C three. Knight F three. I still like Knight F three. Oh, yeah. Knight F three would have yeah, been tricky there. Yeah. Very tricky move. Five seconds to two seconds. A car living on the increment. Rookie one pressure f five. Oh, he's losing completely. What is the move? I don't was there know. Knight I, don't know what it was. I have no idea, but yes, yeah, I thought it was knight d three too as well. It's probably still there. Knight d three misses it again. At a four, Carl. Two close seconds. To consolidating. Ooh. Wow, one second there. Oh my goodness! Both sides just blitzing out, hoping not to blunder. They're like, oh, knight e six is so. Oh, scary. He hung, he's hanging. Something's bro. Something's going on. It's winning. Oh, queen d four. There's a fork. Right. There's a fork on e six. Gg. Is f five hanging? Oh man! They have no time to even look. They have yeah, no time yeah, no, to figure you really this don't. out. No, no time. You for literally anything. don't no have time. any time. No time to process. It's just moves. Now here, black is not oh, at risk my though. Goodness. Once the queens came off, black just should winning. be able to win this. Yeah. Whoa, David might get a dub. Those David knights, might get the dub. Those knights are so bad against the a pawn. A two here. Huge Maybe swindle. Not. Huge swindle. Yeah. I mean, both sides with Won no time. Won by resignation. He resigns. Wow. He resigns. Nice oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it on both sides of the board. Did you think I couldn't? Right? Wow. E4, so A4. now now we know what a car was looking at during the break. What is this E4A5 <laughs> even called? Oh, man. This one's called the wear defense. <laughs> W-A-R-E. Oh man, I mean, it looks so ugly. You're giving up this b5 square permanently. Um, it doesn't. What does it do? Like a5. It's so strange. It's so that strange, is. But okay. That might be more than more than simply disrespect. Like I've never seen anybody play that against me in my entire life. Of playing. <laughs> and on the second move, right? Or first move. First move with yeah. with black with the black pieces. Well, how? what is the best way for David? Do you stick a knight on b5 or do you stick the bishop? Well, I'm, I'm a Joe Bobble. You know I like Jar Jar Binks London, right? So we go on knight b5. We're going to put the knight here because that's where it usually goes in the Joe Baba or Jar Jar Binks London, as we like to call it. Knight to b5, c3, a4. Like You just push everything. That's what it looks like. But it is not that. Knight e5, e5 also yeah, you good. See this too. Yeah, you can oh, never ever take that. Line. And yeah, this is, wow. Yeah, I mean, h4 is a big threat. Yeah. Oh, you take and play bishop d3. Taking bishop d3 is going to hold on with king f7. And they also e5 now. This is kind of weird. How is he even playing this? How is this How even playable? He, I mean, if he oh, gets away with this queen. one, I won't even know it's what to d3. say. And then castles? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And then queen f3 next. I'm definitely feeling this for white. Well, it's I mean, looking suddenly solid, though. Like, you put your other pawn on e6. Oh, you're right. e6. That's, that's very annoying. That's very annoying, actually. Do I have anything? Can I play bishop g2? Well, you can. Uh, I might go. I might just go e6 anyway, though. Here. <laughs> right. Don't even take Maybe it. f4? <laughs> Try and blast f4. open the files. He does it. Yep. He does it. The king is just looking crazy. Looks like a, a delayed bond cloud or delayed something. Delayed bond cloud strange. on f7. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely not not that good. This was definitely looked like some type of Joe Baba London for sure with the knight early on C3. Bishop comes out. These positions get very wacky. Bishop G2, Rook F1, G5, H5, H6. It's a very, very deadly attack for White. <laughs> Karan making use of that A5. Push it one more square to A4 saying, please take me. And then he's going right. to jump in with Queen A5 and Knight B4. Right. And just uh, who's attacking who then, right? Wow. And I don't, wouldn't allow A3 here as David. So I think you have to play A3 yourself. Which is quite annoying, isn't it? And then maybe and B5 might be too much. But you might have to take this because you can't allow B4. So you're kind of like diverted into this. I mean, then there's maybe a Rook B8. There is some strange counterplay. B5 might be too much. Might be. There could also be a Knight A5, Knight C4 maneuver that Karo... Plays eight yeah, there it is immediately plays knight c knight a five for knight c four so bishop g two knight c four oh yikes who's attacking who really this looks like there's some carol cons wow exchange carol Khan. i think you're familiar with that jeffrey exchange carol Khan. king on f7 uh actually uh um being loren and uh magnus had a game with this h4 king with the f7 uh -huh. stuff like this very very uh topical thing in the carol Khan exchange variation yeah yeah i mean hikaru he played all of the the same moves as an exchange Karakon, except he threw in the a5 a4 <laughs> a5 move right queen a5 looking at bringing everything it looks like a sicilian now bishop a3 or knight a3 yeah, something a3, a3, a3 huge on the way and white still yeah. hasn't started his attack which is very concerning for me absolutely and a b5 maybe not ready yet knight a3 not ready yet wow what a move i like this move a lot well why did like why did you move. discount b5 so like b5 b4 how slow is that it just feels very slow, but you're mm. right. If B5, what do I do is white? I guess G5 first. B4, I take, take. Bishop G5, F5. Yeah, still would have been wild like complications there. there. But very wild, very still, wild. okay, Hikaru wants to take use of this open semi-open B file still. Queen B6, King A1. Does he have a sack? Uh, I don't know. Sack first thing see it, but he goes for defense. this. He goes for it. How could what? this possibly work? Wait a second. B3, he, it's Rook nothing C2. left. But what is What's even the threat? the threat? There's no threat. That's it? right. Oh, maybe What's just the threat. If I just rook up c eight, well, bishop d three might hang the d pawn. There it is. He went for it. Wow, it's losing oh, no, completely. No, 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 queen b three. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, queen d four. There's king b one, which David saw, and he would have bishop g six there with it the hurts. discovery. But this is an insane oh, find. What a move, bishop d three. He just he. Pra I think that was a practical thing. Hikaru did there. Oh, it was very man. practical. I mean, a bishop d three was very easy move to make. Very easy move. Bishop d3. He plays it and it immediately loses, right? Oh, just oh, a nasty on, trap. And here we go on the other side. Just flip the board and play a4. a4. Wow. Wow. A4. Yikes. Yeah, that was a very practical trap he set there, I think. Bishop d3 was just such an easy move to play. And then queen b3 ends it on the spot. Yeah, must start to lose that game. It is getting really rough psychologically when Hikaru can literally play any first move and get away with it. Yeah exactly it really kind of like bro come on right like you like i'm just stop studying the openings at this point is that what it is like we we i'm just not even going to study any more openings but that is a good thing for you chad as well do more calculation training than your openings castles castle but now d5 five. this is very good for david very good can we just take and play d4 uh, okay let me take e5 d5 queen d4 ah uh, knight c4 knight e3 Hikaru might unwind this yet again. Like if he gets a 92 and then starts pushing the D pawn, he might be fine. There it is. Hmm. <laughs> these nice, bro. Come on. How many times have you moved these? Looks like super bizarre play, but it makes sense. Like he's preparing. Not only is he attacking the bishop, but he's going to prepare an eventual, well, I guess in the current position, H3, and then maybe later C3, and finally push that deep on i mean i'm a big fan of how practical he's making things he's playing games of chess no theory this is just chess and this is very good to see wait a second high level how like did this. he blitz that move out c3 real hanging, fast hanging the knight on f4 but right for the bishop on b4 Jeez, that's that's super super human stuff very fast very fast yeah of course we always say he is half a human b4 and now d4 yeah. oh god he's got a good version once yep. again and opposite and knight takes maybe we don't even take first is there a move in between 95 first oh there might strong. even be 95 i love that idea he takes there's no need he says there's no need to be fancy 95. oh here he's also got bishop before i just realized 
Ugh, I mean, like, look at this. You get A4, move one. In this, if you would tell me I'm getting this position every time where we're playing this every game, every game we'll play something like this, right? So I guess it's still not one. so terrible for Black Mia Bishop before you go Queen C8. Try and keep things uh, under yeah, control. Yeah, Queen C8. I do like Queen C8. Bishop before Queen C8, yeah, keep it under control. I think Akara might nine. be considering bringing the knight back to F4. <laughs> and he does. And he does, yeah. As he says it. Takes, takes. So D6, G3, perfect. Mm -hmm. good. He's got a clean bishop and pair here. Now Black has no weaknesses, though. Now I'm a, that is I'm true. a fan. No weaknesses. Very solid. I am a fan of the bishop pair. But I also do like that Black has no weaknesses at all. And 95, looking for something on the king side. I don't know. Do you keep the bishop on the diagonal, or do you play it safe for bishop B2? You just go back to e2, play queen c2, right? And just try to grind it. I am up. I have the bishop pair, which I am a big fan of using. So I would definitely grind this out. Queen c2, develop the last piece, put the rook on d1, see what happens. Yep, you could play this as slow as you want. Um, all right, rook e8, h3, just covering g4. Yeah, preparing queen c2. But he Whoa, has softened. A... Yeah, he softened up that g3 pawn. Oh, well, big fella. Okay, maybe not sacking immediately. He moves out the way, knight g2. Yeah, bishop g3 not working quite yet. You need a little bit more firepower. You try and add fuel with uh, rook 88 or 94. It goes knight d5. It goes knight d5. Bishop d2. Hikaru's on the back foot. Queen g3 is a threat. He stops it. King h2. Rook d8. Ooh, just bringing the pieces, David. I like it, David. Yeah, you said it. I like Carl, it. Certainly on the back foot all of a sudden. Lots of pressure on the central files. F2 hanging. <laughs> Additionally, what? how do you actually uh, resolve this? Yeah, Bishop h5. This is your 95. move. You know he's in some trouble here. Look at the pieces, David. Good job. David Everything in the middle. Back. That's how. That's picture perfect chess. Got knight c4 go, coming in. Let's go, David. Swing back. He's like, I'm not going down like that. He's swinging back against this a4 here. I think David has an excellent position, but he's looking to convert. Put pieces on better squares. Is knight c4? Yeah, knight square, I move. guess. There's like a bishop g5 or the bishop moves somewhere. Bishop g5, yeah. And you really want to step on the gas because if white gets any time to play moves like rook 81 or rook a1, they would be close to consolidating. So it's a Vital, vital moment. Queen b6, bishop f2 idea. Whoa. Bishop g5. Defending. Defending by attacking. So strange can't play seeing f6. those bishops <laughs> at the edge of the board. But yeah, there is right, like with you, you can't play f6 there. That's, that's kind of crazy. Can I take, maybe just simply take, put a rook to the middle. Whoa. Whoa. Undevelops it. Undevelops the bishop. Disconnecting your own rooks. That is some, that is... Yeah. An elite level move, I feel. That is, that's, that's next level. That's next level. Just undevelop the piece. But he wants to maintain that bishop pair. He's saying that black has no real invasion squares. And slowly Ooh. he's going to try and push, uh, push black back. He goes back to b3. He's going to try for f5 and maybe take, try to open up the file. Oh, f5 Use to be bishop juicy. You could also oh, yeah. play very conservatively with queen f2, just force an endgame. Mm, queen of two play, forcing an endgame. Okay, bishop e7. He wanted to trade him right and then play f5. Get the bishop out, g5. Oh, I love that. Yeah, you would. Oh, but you've got to be careful. There is a rookie. Rookie two, two that right? You don't want yeah. to. It's quite kind of really allow. Um, bishop d1, really enough, but. Maybe that's it. Interesting. Nothing takes bishop h4. But yeah, I guess it's just bishop f8. Still. Both sides maintain the tension here. Wow. Now, how about a knight g4? I want to throw another little wrench here, a twist. <laughs> F5, hey, I want to understand. Look. Oh, my goodness. So, knight on e3 is on pre, but the car is saying that oh, he's coming he says in first bishop with seven. fg. Maybe even bishop of seven. Oh, yeah. After oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't it's one or the other. It's either, yeah, so fg, okay. Takes with check. He's giving oh, up yikes. everything. Everything, Chet. Now, How do you even stop this? Wait a second, though. Okay, what oh, yeah, I understand. He only has three seconds. That's Rookie not seven. It. Yeah, King. Oh, you gotta go to defends. H8. You gotta go to and H8. Chills. Oh, my goodness. You losing, big fella. Did Hikaru That's blunder a... that? Yeah, I saw him shake his head. Maybe he had another alternative. But yeah, he forgot Queen F6. There's just Bishop G7. 
G5. He's five been going a- from eight. Check. Is he made it? No checks. Oh, he, man, look at the defense, David. That's a resi. He, he probably get out of here, right? Well, it's not a resi yet. He's got only two seconds. Ninety-seven, though. Brilliant defense. Yeah, he does have two moves seconds. Moves by That's David. Sure. That's correct. The defense still is unreal. Wow. There's nothing. There's nothing. I'm down. Okay, of course. Still trying. Right. Rook of five. Nice move. Pin the bishop. The magician at work. He's just down a piece. All right, he's, he's going to eliminate that pawn. Once he adds more time, I think we can say for certain, but Icaro's still probing. He's trying to run the clock. He's trying to run the clock. Two seconds here, living off the increment. David with the defense. Wow, Rook six. F3. David Rook back. Rook back. This is G5. Protecting on B6. Check and check. Okay. Bishop H6. Okay, Bishop G5. At some point, you just want oh, to take wait, on took? B2. Oh, oh he's wow. allowed this one. Ah, man, what? I guess. Not, I guess. Not the cleanest technique, but I think he's still got it. Take on B2. Hang up. He wins a Wait, wait, wait. Got to move. Force. Only one second. Oh, no, but now he's allowed this. No, no, no. This, is, this has gone out of control. Check and push. Oh, man. Take the pawn. Rook B. Rook B. It is a draw. King C4 also. What a magician here. I mean, this is crazy. Even when you win in, right? I mean, okay, he did win a game. Oh, and now uh, he's going to have to hold now two I'm of a you pawn. Win. Man, Goodness what? Sake. Bro, get out of here. Man, get this man out of here, bro. Yo, I'll be tilted. I would be tilted. Oh, uh, who wouldn't 100% be? about to knock everything off the table in front of me. But it's so wow. hard to... I mean, even when you have the upper hand against a cart, you still have to drag him down. And with... One second this on your ridiculous. clock for so many moves. Hard to keep up. Hard, just hard. Oh, man. I mean, this is tough. He might. Uh, I mean, it's hard to lose this. But, I mean, you do have to wait. Like, he got it. Yeah, rookie here. one. But, yeah, okay, a wait a second. Hikaru is probably going to at least take us to <laughs> our break here. <laughs> wait. Oh, oh goodness. There was a check. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He has a check. There's a check. Oh, yeah. that's scary. Yeah, I saw that too. The check. The check saved us. Look at this, chat. This is the scariest place to be on Earth right now, is what they're doing. King Rook versus oh, King right. Rook. Not okay. this time. Okay. Drew. Oof. Icaro we says, not this time. Not this time, yeah. We can breathe. I've seen a lot of uh, Entitled Tuesday. A lot of King Rook versus King Rook actually are. They're supposed to be draws, but they're wins. <laughs> how is that even possible? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how ambitious players can be in that room. <laughs> King Rook versus game. King Rook. Losing. Yeah, we are at, this will be the last game for sure, and Ikaru has uncorked his seventh or eighth different opening here against 1e4 with mm-hmm. b6. Yeah, he's going through every opening there is, chat. He's literally playing everything and anything, and he's up. Six games. Okay, now, six. for David, i probably just play him with, like, knight c2 here. You want to... Stabilize the center with c3. Knight Maybe C2. also knight g3. Some ideas of uh, bringing the pieces over on the king side. Big fan of that. Absolutely. Knight h5. Okay, getting rid of the defender. One of the defenders of the king side. Big fan of your idea, though. Knight c2, knight g3. Put the knight over there. He takes h5. Yeah, here I thought I could just take a knight d7. Uh, just yeah. be careful, though. You don't want to play knight f6. That would hang your bishop in a funny way with queen b5 check. Boom. So, yeah. Knight e4. Trying careful. to provoke it. Trying to provoke it. Probably bishop e7. Looks bishop all right. e7. It yeah, does allow knight fine. g5, though. You might have to deal with it. might just snatch it. There. Um, you actually snatch it and play knight f6, believe it or not. I think it's kind of annoying. Can you really? I feel like, no, there's still the queen b5 check, right? Queen b5. Queen b5. Right? But there, the bishops go on after, uh, you mean bishop e7, knight g5, uh, take bishop oh, g5. Oh, bishop I'm sorry. G5, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Yeah, yeah, you could play that, but I'm not sure Hikar wants to part ways with his bishop just yet. Right. Can he play? Okay, obviously, castles has to be too much. It's like, there's a knight, <laughs> knight d6 and knight c5 discovery. Oh, man, it's almost like queen h7 almost works, but oh, yeah. it does not. <laughs> it does not, but like, the oh, Wait, castles, castles, bro. What? Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh man, he lost his mind. What? So knight, okay, knight bro, d6, knight so f6. That nice. must be... That must you be. You gotta be point. kidding me! You gonna survive this? Wow. 
Knight d6, knight f6. It simplifies like you do win the light squared bishop, but so tilting. I'll be tilted. Like you gotta be kidding me. That's the not fact me. That this bishop is g5. Really like like yeah, bishop g, the five. fact that it's not losing on the spot, right? Bishop g5. If f6, don't I just snatch it? I literally just snatched the pawn. Knight f6. Oh I yeah, and bishop h7. Crushing. That's beautiful. Bishop h7, and it's lethal. Bishop g5. So bishop b7. Knight f6. Anyway, there is knight f6. Yeah, that would force. No, but knight f6 and g6. Oh, Hikaru's still and g6. That's control. gross. And he loses. Sheesh. That's what well, maybe not. Bishop b7. Still bishop b7, disgusting. but a card would be like uh, gone with It'd the win. Right. Right. That's crazy. That's so tilting, bro. When you're like, man, this is such a nice position, right? Can I play? That's crazy. I still like my old idea here. Can't do of, anything here. Of knight, uh, knight d6. Yeah, we just go with it, right? And then if knight of six, well, h4, mm, that's probably not enough, my guy. It's probably not enough. Now the question is, can Hikaru get away with h6? That's the move you want to play, but there might be a bishop mm. h6 there. Yeah. <laughs> Still scary. Right, don't even think about it, right? Just do it. You know, I'm down in the match, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. He point. would sack there uh, without this choice. All right. right. But meanwhile, for Hikaru, it's not that easy to find another move. Like, g6 is I also wanted to play f5, in. but f5 is very weak. f5 weakening takes a knight, yeah. And then h6. Oh, but then knight e6. Wait, no, I have queen on e7. Yeah, so f5, right. Oh, he does go he plays it as bishop takes queen takes knight g5 h6 then you kick the knight yeah i guess you can you can play like that yeah because once you kick the knight maybe the queen on h5 could find itself in trouble yeah yeah it was nasty f5 no, we'll just kick him back you go i like mean the problem the, the idea was this too well yeah yeah the bishop is blunted but e6 huge yeah. weakness here you can pile up the pressure with like queen e2 bishop c4 and rookie one Oh, yeah, you're so, right. I'm about to do that right now, right? Queen e2? Queen h6 is scary. I'm a queen kind of trap, bro. Yeah, I don't think I, don't know I about would. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll test the waters. We already now six games, bro. Just that's queen e2. Yeah. Then you, you do allow him to take and hit mate with tempo. Oh, yeah, queen that H6. might be it. Okay, that might have been what he didn't like. Yeah, I don't like that either. Like, Why? Carl get mate with tempo, right? Check. How is, this yeah, is so provocative. Check. It is so provocative, but this is so provocative. Apparently, still there's no follow-up. The people going. All right, check King H8. <laughs> wow. What in yeah, the world? I would be. I would be slightly tilted. I'm not gonna lie. I would be really tilted. Like you're getting good positions. Oh, and now like, there's a 95, and Black could be the one on the attack. Like you have 94 ideas. Oh yeah, 94 is really strong. Queen. Oh, that's a good move. I love oh, Queen E7, one. Rookie One. Right, that was a nice move, nice uh, in between. Although, what's going on? Wait, rookie one, maybe that queen was C5. Threatened rookie five, yeah, queen five, rookie five, maybe, and rookie seven. Woo, jeez, oh man, oh, George is chat. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That's on that's on tap right now. Like, oh, but there's another, is... there's a counter shot here with rook d8. If you take it, there's knight of three, but apparently, oh, rookie... the engine didn't like that. What's what Hold was on, the something... problem? I didn't, oh, I didn't shoot. see it. All right, let's go back and move. I want to see what that Lots was. Oh, rookie five, says, rookie it was rookie seven. five. Rookie five, rookie, rookie seven. Yeah. Taking oh, advantage of the f8 rook hanging. Bro. Oh, that would have been rookie five. an insane tactic, but he missed it. Mm -mm -mm. And Play back to the game. Five, c6. I think this would be five. C6. I just couldn't find a follow. It was rookie seven there. Wow. That takes everywhere. C6. Crazy. Got to move to bishop. But bishop b3, I take on yeah, d1. Yeah, he missed. Oh yeah. Oh, this is spiraling out of control again. And David down to six F4. seconds, you just gotta make a decision. Okay, There's now the yeah, Rookie Ooh, threatening threat. back ring. There's a mate threat. Rook F1. Bishop A6. Bishop A6. Yeah. Bishop A6. And he can hit the button. He can hit the button. Slamming the mouse real hard. Ah, tough. Queen E3 first. Queen E3 and Bishop F1. Yeah, it's all it's all lights and out. Bishop F1. Yep. Takes and then Queen E1, anything works really. That is, I mean, you yep. know, so close there. If David finds that tactic, picks up a big win, but mm. it's not there, not quite there. Tough stuff. Snatch it and snatch and grab. Oh man. Playing on as he should, I guess. Bishop A2, reroute it again. Yeah, it's still fighting. Gotta admire the fighting spirit. Absolutely. Oh, oh yikes. That's, that, that, that'll that's, do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. 
And I believe us, yeah. that does take us to the halftime of uh, the three-minute segment. Wow. Yeah, you can see David. It's just uh, hands on his head there. Tough. It's a really tough match here. But, of course, if we take a look here, guys, at the match score right now, it's actually two and a half, one and a half. He's only down the game here so far in the in the three one. If we look at it from just match by match, you know, or time control by time control, definitely got hurt in a five one. But we're we're doing okay right now in the three one. So we are gonna take a short break though, come back with the rest of it, guys. So don't go anywhere. Is uh is anybody in, in Snoop's camp playing chess? Is that happening or not? I haven't seen it. There's some smart people in the camp, so I wouldn't be surprised if people are versed at it. Really? Uh, it's a lot of college educated people, you know. I unfortunately am not one of those sophisticated people that play chess in the camp. What you talking about, man? I don't play chess. I mean You know how to play. I listen, there's a difference with knowing how to start a car up and then driving Formula One racing. <laughs> it's a different...
everyone to the final match of the SEC. One more ticket up for grabs. Here we do see Hikaru with his beloved orange background. Got the light, lit up pine, light, uh, lighted up pineapple as well. That looks nice. How do you <laughs> like the setup there, James? You know, it's a traditional, it's a classic setup. He's been there a long time. We see you guys flexing the YouTube plaques up there and flexing on his car too as well, Jeffrey. Oh, yeah. I love the whole thing there. Okay. Wish we could get a bit more of a look at it. But here we see a car's uh, player card. Yeah. Accurate and fast. <laughs> I love strength. the insights with strength. Accurate and fast. That would be <laughs> a pretty, uh, pretty decent way to describe his play. And look at that. He's the best SEC finish. He's the reigning champion since 2018. And, you know, right now, it looks like Magnus on the other side of the bracket is like, yeah, big fella, you might be the best until Magnus then came around. It's going to be a heavy hitter matchup if we they make it that far. Obviously, both of them are favorites to do so. But, of course, that's going to be a heavy hitter matchup here. But we still got this match to do. And David has a long one to come back from. Oh, yeah. I mean, Magnus versus Hikaru, it, it still is a long ways to go but i mean i would just salivate at the potential for that yeah it's definitely tough <laughs> before hikaru with these just like he doesn't care he literally doesn't care no he literally, literally doesn't literally doesn't care I mean, you can just you can tell so they're going to repeat this line we've seen before i think it was takes in d4 knight c6 now david had a good position there okay hikaru with the first deviation he developed his knight on e2 last time around now in f3 perhaps more solid. Yeah, absolutely. It's more solid here defending D4 as well, casting natural development is usually best. Of course, obviously you have your ideas with developing in different ways, but natural development, knight of three, knight D2, again, natural development here and just playing a position, even though, um, of course, black have the bishop pair, but having a weak pawn on D5. Yeah, and I'm trying to figure out how do you regroup because, okay, queen B3 to start with makes a lot of sense. I guess he's following it up with like a rook FC1. And at some point, I like the idea of knight e1 and opening up my bishop. Mm, he plays bishop f1, actually. That's uh, intriguing. In fact, I mean, light squares are weak, but I guess you can't really get to them with the pieces that you have. He takes with the king. I mean, just a provocative style today. Very provocative. But nothing you can do about it. Pretty solid, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, don't get me started. Like, that last game when he castled right, I mean, just straight into the attack. Absolutely <laughs> ridiculous how he got away. But... This time, I mean, key on F1, it is there, but not a lot of firepower for black where you could try and exploit it. He plays a queen b5 move, attacking the knight, keeping some pressure on the c5 pawn. Queen is c7, played king g2. Nice little move, tuck and roll there. This is a 3-1 portion. I forgot, you have to move so much faster. Like, transitioning is sometimes hard, especially even when you're down. You know, transitioning from 5-1 to 3-1, you have to oh, move for sure. faster now, and you're down, right? So... It is more difficult. I think it's a huge. As the time gets faster, Icaro gets gets better, right? It's kind of scary. So, so scary. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we can both back. definitely speak from our own personal experience um, playing these SEC formats. And yeah, it always takes me a while to sort of settle into each time control, like from five to three and from three to one. You just have to keep up that tempo. Absolutely, you have to keep up that tempo here. And of course, Icaro does this every day, day in and day out. Usually playing three. 3-1, I mean, playing in the title Tuesdays, playing eight, both of them, eight hours streaming at the same time. So it's, it's difficult to compete with that sometimes if you're not, you know, doing the same amount of playing. You see that's 29,000, 30,000 games, you know what I mean, in the system there. That's insane. That's just yeah, you don't... this account, right? <laughs> you don't get up there for, for nothing. Yeah, it's now, a lot of work. I think he can break here with E4. Um, he's going to delay, but doesn't this allow... B4? Oh, B4, Queen A4 he has. He's got uh... Queen A4 here. Yeah, he definitely missed that. And I think he, I think he debated David into it, and now he might win a pawn. Yeah, that's nothing. Wow, rook d six. Rook d six. I take. You go c three. Eh, yeah, maybe you have a little before? something something going on there. I mean, no, I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. night before, I don't think so. Rook b four, but maybe. Yeah, rook d six. C b four. C three is interesting. That's very interesting. C3 with C2 ideas. But David, he's got to come up with something. I mean, letting his Fast. time wind down. Oh, exactly. Fast. Minute here, or under, uh, sorry, a downing minute. About to be under one minute as well. Three minute, one second increment here. He think he's still in the five minute mode. It can, I can feel that right now. 
Yeah, he's just not got a lot of time. Even if he somehow gets out of trouble, yeah. when with such low time, like you're just gonna basically get right back in it. So right. we've trying this way. Same idea. Is there oh B five there's C D two and, and the B one rook can hang in some lines. B five C D two, yeah. Yeah, like rook C six, queen C six. Oh, he's playing it. He's gonna C. go for it anyway, yeah. I mean I guess it, at the end of the day it would be queen against two rooks. After Probably, it takes. Yeah, rook still takes, better for white. Takes and rook B1. Mm -hmm, knight D2. Knight D2. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy smokes. Wait a second move. here. Wow. That's a cheeky little intermezzo. So now at least he gets rid of one more pawn. Still, though, ED4, like on D2. CD2, Knight D2, like still pawn down, not out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination. Take. Knight takes D2. I like this pawn from Hikaru here. 3 4, 3 4. All right, we got the extra pawn. Yeah, he can try to convert. That's just tough, man. I mean, you're playing great chess, David, but like, man, it's tough facing this guy. Five. Oh, and Rook C6, four. another great and restricting move. I think he can play even a simple move like, yeah, I like Rook BC1. I like Knight F3 too, but also H3. Just so you can meet H4 with G4. And that's, <laughs> G4, right? Yeah, that looks classic. He plays it too. Look at that. H4, G4. And then Knight F3, there's Queen E4, but Rook E1. So I'm good to go. Uh, Rook's hanging. So maybe Rook C1. Oh, takes push. Oh, push, takes push, and push. push. You got to be careful. This Knight's simple. loose. I mean, Queen it is loose, is but I don't see a way to take advantage. Like that Knight will hop right back to F3. Can go here too guard as well. D4, guard your king, and there's just no way through for black. Takes takes, yeah, he pushes it. Queen d3, I think I go b7. b7 yeah, I'm in time there. So you have to deal b7. with that, and, and then I can. I have a okay. free hand to play a knight of three or what I want. Whoa, b7, yeah, I play it. And now we need to figure out what to do with the rook, obviously. To defend, whoa, rook c2. All right, he's going for broke. So if he queens, rook d2, queen f4. And then queen d1. Oh, there's queen, queen d1 there, which I blundered, okay. But queen d queen d two though. Oh, queen d two, yeah. Yeah, queen d two takes cherry. Come on, get him off the board. That's a resi. There it is. Surgical Hikaru precision yet again from Hikaru. Okay, and now another <laughs> different response. To okay, D4. but it, this transpose into something normal or not? He just wants to play stupid stuff today, huh? <laughs> I guess. He just yeah, wants to play everything. He's just having a good time. He's laughing. F five. Yeah, he's having a good time, right? Having a good time, enjoying it. He's just playing whatever he wants today. But we need a we actually need a count because I know that he hasn't played the same thing twice for black. So hmm. if I'm doing my math straight, there's 15 games, which means that he's this is his eighth different response to 1e4. Wow. Whoa. This and, is uh, okay. okay. 95 Let's go. five. Yeah. Ugh. Come Looks on, like David. He like, yo, you're gonna stop disrespecting me like this, bro. <laughs> I like it. I but Akaru like doesn't seem to be like impressed it. just yet. After knight g6, there is knight f6. I was just thinking that. And then what do we do now? Bishop f7? Oh, there might be a bishop f7, but king f7? Oh, and knight e5. That's mate. And then queen f7. That's mate. mate. Right. Yeah. Oh, the puzzle rush. Oh, you know, I do that every day. Oh, every day, baby. Knight f6, bishop f7 is gross. But let's see. Uh, so why is this not just does, completely yeah. toasted? Like. That's Can you get away question. with hg hg queen g Maybe like queen d7? oh you can't play that what is this yeah you might have to just take it which he does queen g6 he king does. d7 yeah queen f5 there's king e8 queen oh you have king e8 get out of here oh it doesn't that's so annoying man if, five, king e8. if he finds a way to so survive annoying. this then i mean there's just not much you can do yeah you're right yeah <laughs> take on d5 it's like yeah there's just there's just nothing you can really do Take on d5, knight. Can't touch him. Yeah, 97? I'm trying to calculate. Is there a force win for white or not yet? Mm. That's what I'm trying to figure out, too. Check, there's 97, right? Maybe even anything e7. Right, yeah. I think queen f7 um, would allow black uh, some bishop chances to entangle. Yeah, bishop g5, queen e8. Queen f5, king e8. Queen g4, king e8 as well. Seems like there's nothing better than the simple bishop d5. Right, yeah. Bishop d5. 
He goes queen f7. Queen f7. The one the thing, I mean, advantage. the one thing I don't like is you give black so many different options, right? There's yeah. f- literally four pieces that can block on e7. Yeah, the interesting said best move was bishop d5 and then playing bishop g5 right over there. So really just developing to get your piece back and natural move bishop g5. It was just crushing. Now it's zeros. But let's see. Can you just block with anything? Yeah, every move. He, it, knight D to E7 is the only move that loses. But oh, okay. <laughs> anything else is like, he can block with anything else. Okay. Bishop can you play a move five. like Queen E8? Queen e wow, Making I didn't play Queen D8? Yeah. <laughs> you see that in the Dutch, in the, uh, the Bishop G5 Dutch with F6 G5 very early. That's funny. Queen E8 and King D8. Oh, man. Bishop h6, Amazing. looking to exchange bishop. So the funny thing is queen e6, king e8, your queen e8. would be under attack. So <laughs> no... And bishop under attack, and the uh, this bishop is still hanging. Too. Yeah, so I would have to repeat hanging. there. Um, do you have anything better? Like bishop e6 check, king c6, that king's starting to run. Wow. I mean, what's a, what a provocative day from Hikaru. What if we go d5 after that? Oh yeah, there B8? is a B five. Maybe just keep running though. King B six. Yeah, he just runs away. What on earth, bro? There's I'm no bishop. You gotta be kidding me. Can I? Not, can I win? Yeah, a game? yeah. I mean, can I get a game? Jeffrey? I'm telling you, Hikaru, Hikaru really could be invincible. He can really I, could. Can I get a game, bro? My his king on B six, Jeff. His king's on B six. Yeah, he's gonna try to take in queen f four, maybe. Oh my goodness. Okay. Double yeah, attack. So queen e three check. Uh. <laughs> the car is still laughing. Like, let me tell you, if I had my king on b6, I would not be laughing. Yeah. <laughs> king on b6, just not a care in the world. Queen, queen h8. h8. So if queen h3, is there c5? This is nuts. Wow. And then takes, oh my goodness. King the bishop's c6. still hanging. Your bishop's still hanging. I don't have anything developed. Who's better here, right? Check. c5 played. Opposant, the bishop's hanging. And there's a b2 problem. Very strange, very strange. The rook's hanging there. Actually, king c6, right king c6, queen e4 might be good for one. That's cute, that's cute. That's a check, but what do you do? He takes queen e4, Just by back. anyway, king seven, queen f4. I guess you just keep, and roll. You keep going up and down like oh, a yo-yo no. you, with the king. Suicide. Yeah, you can't go to d8, you yeah. just have to go back to c6. This is hilarious. <laughs> king on c6, wow. But it is four pawns for white, so it should be good. Like, what if I just take on c8 at some point and no queen c4 check? Not sure what this accomplishes. Castle? Nope, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Rookie six and you still not quite. Yeah, you cover d6. Queen there. seven, rookie six. This is just exactly this is wicked. And what about bishop this is witchcraft? Oh, bishop c8, queen e5 checked. Queen e5 check exists. Yeah, this this is some type of voodoo type stuff he'd be doing here, bro. This doesn't make any sense. Queen e5 checking. <laughs> well, you can't even beat him. Like his king's on c6, bro. Stop it. You gotta be kidding me. Check, I guess king, king f1, f1 would king prepare one. rookie one, right. but you go like queen e5 check, king f1, knight takes c8. Yeah. Yeah, knight takes c8. Rook takes queen e5, though. Yeah, I think we're going to see it. Yeah, knight c8. Knight. Queen b5. Well, I mean, I don't really want to trade. Yeah, you got three passers, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I guess the end game would be good for white. <laughs> I got three of them, boys. I'm not mad. Like, I'm not mad. Check. Check. You want to draw, bro? I'll take it. Like, I think you've got to get your rook on it. h1 involved somehow. Like, with h rook, h3. But suddenly, oh, when knight d6 comes... Oh, oh yeah, this is... Yeah, that's so a great a... way to describe scrappy. This is so scrappy. For scrappy, me. right. Scrappy. Yeah, there's a, a Carol Khan pan off Bafanik line with a knight d6 Grisha Kisak that played against Vidit Gurdrathi with the white pieces. Where but I think Akar is doing well now. Like Rook f4, oh, b2 is great. hanging. There's he's knight c4 great. ideas. Okay, not anymore. Yeah, this is this is terrible. Just oh, take man, on b2. Is... Yeah, I've got Rook d4. Look at the time, Jeffrey. Rook d4. Oh, yeah, he's got no time. I just realized. Jeez. Knight e4? Yeah. He's not going to survive this. Okay, c3 is a good attempt, though. Forcing the queens off. 94, 94. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. He even wow. managed to win this. I mean, I can't believe it, bro. Can't believe it. He was getting crushed. And David, 
refused several uh, draw offers in this game. Oh, and knight b1. There's, there's the finish. Wow. Finishing touch. Yeah, hurts. Yeah, that definitely hurts, bro. I was rooting for David in that game too. That, that hurts, man. A three five. He's just trying whatever. Maybe b four. Back to this. I think he played c four. He's also played e four. Yeah, no freaking way. That's exactly what I was thinking. Incredible. This is some type of Vienna with an early a three. Yeah, that a three pawn push basically useless though. Because I don't see any way that can ever benefit you. But he's That's probably going to make it work. Completely yeah. useless move. Because, correct. I mean, usually you have the same position with a pawn on a2. In the Vienna, with the early bishop g2. The pawn on a3 literally did nothing at all for you. It's kind of funny. But b3, yeah. Okay, bishop e3. I like this h4, h4, alpha 0-like approach from David. Maybe you go queen g5, yep. King B2? I know it's a crazy move, but... Oh, yeah, that no, that's F1. right up Hikaru's alley. I mean, if he yeah, wants... might as if well, gonna, right? If he's going to put his key on B6, yeah, you call you it. Know, great call. <laughs> might as well, Hikaru. I'm playing this kind of chess today anyway. Yeah, and he's laughing. He's going, yeah, you should laugh. Right, what's the most disrespectful move I can play? That's what he's probably thinking. What, what is the craziest thing I can do? King B2? Let's do it. I like Queen F1, and so for some reason, I like the Queen. Yeah, Queen F1. And at some point, I like GH4 opening the rook. Put a rook on G1. G1 and Oh, there's a cheeky little trick here with GH4, and if Black recaptures with the rook or knight, <laughs> bishop c6. Bishop c6. Whoops. G4, same similar idea. Similar <laughs> idea, yeah, similar. That's nice. Watch out. Don't block with your face. Knight h6, h3. Yeah, I like knight d6. Yeah. Keep the knight centralized. But after h3, how is this so solid? Okay, bishop v 6 in castles. Yeah. I can't move anything though. Like this looks like a Sicilian right in reverse with black, some type of I don't know dragon or knight or for something, where the king is in the center here. I can guarantee you, Hikaru's thinking about playing like c4 and king c3. Just king, wow. <laughs> king e1. But all right, king he's e1. he's uh going gonna play sane for once. E4, attacking a7. B8, but now that I just closed. Let me look at this bishop. That might have been a weird move. Yeah, positionally, what, this is what, what? bad, but yeah, king sprung around to F2. Yo, yo, he wants queen C1. I think he Chill, wants queen bro. C1 and bishop F3. Yeah, oh, I like this. I like this queen C1. Yeah, I thought it was queen B1, but queen C1 just makes sense. Queen B1 doesn't really make that much sense. King D2, king E1, king F2. Yeah, he's just having fun. He's just having fun, bro. But F5 is gonna be bro. big. <laughs> F five is huge. Oh, F five. That's yeah. true. That's going. That's going to open it up. G five is met with H five. Yeah. No. Now it's now or never. Go F five. Take on E five. F G. What is this? I guess there's knight F four though to cut off the F file. Okay. King looking crazy right in the middle of the street here. Of course, obviously. Uh, what do we have? Rook check? What is it, Jeffrey? G3? Rook check? If G3 king Something. G1, and the king would find itself surprisingly safe. We do rook check? Wow, it's minus four. Maybe we just... No. It's like check and take, maybe. Queen F7, queen F7 and takes, yeah. Just Or yeah, queen I don't F7. know. Queen F8 might not be the right square. I don't know how exactly you do this. It's so tricky. Yeah, and now he's out. Right, Jesu three, queen e6 doesn't work. I just want to see real quick. What did he play? He took. And then yeah, after knight four, maybe. Four, is it queen f7? Is, or? Yeah, it's queen f7. Queen, queen f7, f7 and gh3. Yeah. yeah. Queen f7, gh3. But in the game, I mean, Akaro's back in it. It should be, like a, it should be seven in here. Like, there is some Such crazy tactics stuff do going exist. on. Yeah, I mean, David has to resolve the pin somehow. I don't know if you go rook h6, rook e8. But worst case scenario, Hikaru can play the end game now and he's safe. Rook B1 is really strong. But right? I like Rook B1 too. Very strong move. Because even if you move the king, I potentially could still sacrifice. But I have to be accurate. It has to be right. But Rook B1, King C8, then I'd be happy to take on E6 with your That's king Rook on B1. that diagonal. Ah, uh, correct, correct. Yeah, we just take on E6. Yeah, very annoying moment. I'm wondering so, how Bishop D7, but... Eh. I mean, David's not going to be able to win this. Bishop d7 played. 
It's a good move. I guess you could just take on e7, play knight c6. That's one option. Because just trade everything down, try to bully the h. Oh, but there's here. also queen d5. He and if c6, it. knight c6. Right. Ensign did not like this. What? But why? This why good. not? Exactly, right? What are you talking about? What are you doing? Rook yeah, b7 is see it. Let me passive? see what they think. Because this is a great move. Play c6, take everything, and rook ace to g8 because he has no mate. Oh, wow. That's, That's crazy. c6, though. let him take everything and play rook ace g8. Yeah. And then you deep just, in. Like, I mean, David might be forced to find that, though. At least he might be finding it. He might be forced. Whoa, no, queen e1, queen no, but one? this doesn't work. I take in king f2. I mean, he's fighting for That's a draw crazy. still. I can go here and trap the knight. King d2, king c7, uh, or this. Oh, yeah, knight c3. Maybe your knight might uh, get but trapped. Now, but king d2, knight b1. Oh, knight b1, correct. That's a so maybe, nasty. So annoying. c4. So what do we do? Go to d1. I think you go to d1 anyway. anyway? Yeah. Okay. Rook c8, D4. but bishop a4. C4. No, he's going to lose this. c4. Yeah, he's going to lose this one as well. Two passers. I square bishop. And, and that knight is stuck on the it. side. D4. Yes. Oh! That rook now controlling nice. the third rank. King c1. Get Unstoppable. King b2. Now he can pick okay. up h4. Easy pick up. Easy game here. One second for David. This is not looking good at all. Man. So rough. No, I mean, nothing's going David's way. Even when it was winning, I mean, he got provocative openings. I mean, like, positions were great, especially that last game. It just couldn't convert. All right, he's content with the rook against the knight, which, yeah, it should be, should be more than enough. Let's see with the extra pawn. Check. King up. C3. Restrict. Very nice. Walk the king up. Easy Good game. stuff. Yeah, rook h6 C5 and c5. Next. That's it. Resignation. Oh man, I mean, got he played king d two, king e one, king f two, and he still I mean, won. It's, yeah, it's crazy. He still won. Still won. This is the most normal we've seen out of his opening. Well, maybe he did have Eliak in and like. Yeah, he's back yeah. to. I mean, this he is one of his favorites playing right. that modern little tiger. Uh, here it's with a six. Mm -hmm. We see this all the time in the title Tuesdays. Indeed, we do. And knight d7. Yeah, he's going to go for probably a setup with bishop b7, double fee, and keto. Not quite a hippo because he'll probably play knight f6, but close. Bishop c2, castles probably. He might actually play a hippo with e6, knight e7. Quite annoying. Quite annoying setup the hippos are, especially against strong players like Yaro. It's like, you know, you're just trying to attack, and you do get good positions, in fact, but you have to convert. Bishop h6, love it. Whoa. Saying, yeah, he's giving up the e pawn, but I guess he would have like a queen g7 or something. Some pressure yeah. on the e file, exactly. Knight g5, yeah. So you take rookie it. One? Probably rookie There's one. I mean, five. slightly better. Yeah, or, I should have played. Yeah, I, I don't really, really should have played e5. No. Like this, because now once black gets an e5, it's transfers into sort of Spanish and maybe, yeah, maybe Pro solved his problems here. Yeah, he's already good. I mean, blockade here. Very nice. Dark square bishop gone. But, of course, white does have his chances as well. Maybe even trying h4, h5, g3, moving the knight f4, f5. Yeah, you got to try something on the king side. But knight fd7, I like this. H4 play. Probably going around to b6 and forcing your hand uh, with the pawn on a4. Yeah, the very Spanish, like like you mentioned here, Spanish Roy Lopez. Definitely very Spanish like with the bishop one c2 as well. Some type of briar. briar. Exactly. It's, it's a briar. Yeah. Hikaru was out of crossroads there. He didn't really want to play h5 and allow the knight to jump in. So he's willing to go knight f6 back. I mean, white did weaken some squares there on g4. I'm a big fan of knight h2. Just trying to open up some lines. We Lovely move. Is active. But I think we have to watch. Well, f4 we can take with the queen. Yeah, we can take back with the queen. It's going to be a great move, actually. Yeah, Carl's gonna take his time here. I see he's leaned back, very relaxed, very chill. His knight CD seven, preparing ten games. Preparing, I guess after F four, he wants to take and either e5? maybe Queen B six or put something on E five. Yeah. Yeah, E five. 
But actually, F4, Queen, tough. B6, he might just want to... Oh, trade him off. Really yeah, That's going to be game rough. Game. Yeah, it's going to be really annoying. Maybe A5 then. But that does create a weakness immediately. I do. I did like A5 because now once you allow Queen, B6... The queen has to relegate itself. It's going to take a long time for you to get in this F4 plan. I have to go King H1 now and F4. But then he's but you're not going to be in time at all. E4 is hanging. Also, Knight D3. He also has this and this and now. BA4 because is of this in the air, too. So, yeah. I mean, you got to go Bishop C2 for starters, I feel. Now he throws in the A5. A5. For us. But, I mean, as you mentioned earlier, that pawn is always a weakness. So now, yeah, I like bishop c8. King h1, now I'm playing f4. Oh, h5. so annoying. Oh my goodness. He probably plays everything. You can never get anything. You can't. Ever. You ever, simply bro. can't. Ever. G3, the can't knight coming into d3. Although, wait, there is a b4 move. Like g3, knight d3, g3, b4. Knight d3, b4, that's nice. So he goes back. So maybe we tuck and row and try to play f4, bro. Like, come on, bro. Queen g2, f4. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, otherwise Finally. black at some point is going to play uh, on the queen side with rook b8 and b4 at some point. Yeah, that's going to be annoying, definitely. Knight to g4, what is this move? Where are you going? What's the idea, Jeffrey? Yes, he wants to put it on e3. I don't see why else. Yeah, correct. And maybe he's back to here in f4, I guess, finally. Oh, there's also a knight e3, knight f5 in there. Aha, uh -huh, which is why Carl the fact... got rid of it immediately. Right. There's that rook b8. F4, King G2, prophylaxis. I feel like oh, you're not um, ready to push F4 ever because <laughs> I'll take and activate my rook and then I'll flick in my B4 move. Both rooks would be heavily in the game. Looks like he's going to G4 now. Yeah, now you, now again, F4 is just no longer an idea. So David shifting his eyes over to the queen side. Only break is B4. B3, not really feasible. Yeah, you just. You left with the backward C pawn. Yeah, it's just like he's defending, which is he's tough. He's got to sit tight. Yeah, there's not much you can do. It's tough. Knight G4 provoking F3. One more weakness for a card to try and probe. Played it. Knight back to F6. You want to go Knight H6 and F5 is the question. That's very active. If I go F6, yeah, I guess he's just going back to F6. But hey, that was a very nice idea. But nice idea. really no reason to play too recreationally right. for a car. Right. I mean, 10-point lead last game in the three-minute. <laughs> I mean, he True. can just do what, do what he Cruise. wants. Right, going into the bullet where, I mean, you know, Icaro is a heavy favorite there, highest-rated bullet player on chess.com. It's very scary to even face him. So I think his chances were definitely in a five and a three. We didn't get our shots there. But, of course, can't count David out still. There's a match left. The bullet portion definitely is in Icaro's favor. It's tough. Yeah, now Akaro calculating whether or not there's the right moment to push B4. He says, not yet. And he's going to switch his forces again to the king side. That's what the good players do. They play on all sides of the board. That's correct. He plays Rook F8 with the F5 himself. Sort of King's Indian-esque, but uh, the king is on G7 here. F5, F5 Rook F4 F5. Ourselves. Ooh, now now Knight F6 in. is a huge threat. That D5 pawn is, right. is a dead duck. It's just going to be falling like a house of cards. You could just double rooks here. Double or do you pressure. play? Yeah, I think you just double. Okay, oh, so he's he going to switch to this. Some stuff. Maybe here, Queen C5? Yeah, just Queen play C5. the end game. Yeah. Shut it down, right? It's a very, Shut very safe way. Like, he's still got two more breaks uh, in mind. He's got G5 in the future, and he's also got the B4 idea. Once you trade queens. Let me just get him off. Play, put the knight on C5. Beautiful. Yep. You've got. Uh, if a knight a4 too hang. yeah knight a4 was possible well he has a6 is hanging knight a5 rook a1 so you can't take ah, defend yeah, rook first. look at that so good i mean he's just classic and says how do you defend you don't and then i bring the, the knight back around to the, to the c5 square <laughs> and david's been he's been playing these last 20 moves oh, man. on the increment just too tough rook f8 yeah g5 it's now tough. i think you open the other side H6, oh, oh, he's going to bring it all the way around going? to A5. You. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Yeah, G4 doesn't G5, really accomplish B4. anything. It's all over here, B4. 
That's a nice move. That's a nice move. We have B3. I'm not sure if you go oh. B3, you just take an A3. Yeah, maybe take an A3. I thought the same. And then B2. Well, like oh, no, back. he sticks the knight on B3. That ends all counterplay. Right. Out of time there. Black wins. Wow. I mean, the score astronomical here. 11 point lead going into the bullet. That's tough. Very, very tough, Jeffrey. Uh, as we take a look at this Jeff, uh, this card right here, Jeff, as you see, it is all in Hikaru. It's been the Hikaru show here. David was able to strike back here and there a few times, but it's just not enough. As And a smarter chess looks like they're right, too. They could predict a seven and seven. And I think what just was it? Half off, in the bullet? It was a half off. Seven and a half, half one and a half. Very, very close. I mean, David, I think he actually had a... A uh, brief lead in a three minute portion, I'm not mistaken, like one and a half, half, but Hikaru rattling off six game, six games in a row to close it out. I mean, that's why you don't poke the bear, I guess. Yeah, don't poke the bear, right? Or Hikaru's, uh, yeah, Hikaru's, uh, help the bear, right? You want to help the bear if you're facing Hikaru in that situation. It's pretty tough, of course, guys. Uh, but. Yeah, so as we get back into it, chat, uh, we have some stuff for you. So get ready for the December 2022 stateofchess.com coming to you live on December 21st. We have some huge news for the chess community, and the event will be followed by a community Q&A. Plus, some very special guests will be joining the show to talk about the exciting announcement and what it means for the future of chess and the chess community. Don't miss the show, December 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific, right here on chess, twitch.tv slash chess. All right, so make sure you're out there for that chat. Of course, as we're going to take a short break, we're going to get back to the bullet portion, and uh, we'll keep it going from here. So we'll be right back in a few. International Master Danny Wrench back again. Chief Chess Officer bringing you chess terminology. Let's dive right into one of... One of everybody's favorite tactics, if I might be so bold, because it's surprising. It's something that never, never fails to deliver shock value and excitement, whether you're watching a broadcast or just reviewing some famous chess games. And that is the process of an under promotion. When you move a pawn to the other side of the board, almost always you're looking to get a queen. But the rare times where it's better to get something else or perhaps even required in order to maybe not stalemate your opponent or keep your winning chances alive are some of the most fascinating, exciting moments in chess. So with that, let's dive into what under promotion is and show you some of my favorite examples. Under promotion, as we said, is the process of promoting a pawn, but not to the most obvious or most powerful type of piece, which is usually the queen. In this famous example between Nakamura and Vladimir Kromnik, the fact that Hikaru was winning is only because he under promotes on C8 to a knight. That move comes with check on the black king so that on the next turn, white can capture the E2 pawn. It should be noted that if Hikaru had queened, Black would actually go on to win because now Black queens with check and ultimately Kromnik would have been able to not just save but actually win this game. An under promotion tactic provided to me by our own Sam Copeland, Vice President of Content. One of his favorite examples is the move D7 and after Bishop to E8, the only way to win the game is to under promote to a bishop. Under promoting to a bishop doesn't happen that often. In this particular study, it was designed to be so. The point is that if the bishop moves over to h5, we check and mate along the a4 e8 diagonal. And if the bishop moves anywhere else, white actually plays a subtle move, bishop of seven first, and there is no way to prevent checkmate on the next move. Shout out to everybody watching this video. Thank you for tuning in and enjoying our breakdown of under promotion. And we'll see you on chess.com.
And we're back, guys. We are back with the bullet portion, of course, of the Speed Chess Championship. Jeffrey, it's been a lot of chess, and it's been a show here uh, with Hikaru, of course, uh, just doing a domination scene for everyone here. As uh, It's just amazing, right? We see from Hikaru, Jeffrey, what's going on? Yeah, 11-point gap. It's ballooned completely. Um, yeah. Match nearly out of hand. I mean, you can still play 11 games in the bullet, but I think there's a lot of reason to watch here. Hikaru, known online as maybe the best bullet player of all time um at least for one plus zero so mm -hmm. yeah we're still gonna witness some really beautiful artistic uh majestic play from from the car himself and we have 30 minutes here now this is not the real bullet what i mean by that is of course you get that one second increment but that one second goes very fast and he's going with his trusty knight of three b3 i actually got a, a over the board win jeffrey probably the greatest game i've played Besides uh, beating the GM in the last tournament, but I had this, this I am I beat like very fast H4 H5 nasty attack, and I was very nicely credited to what I've learned from Hikaru playing this Knight of Three B Three system. Oh very yeah, strong stuff. I mean, look at this, right? Look how. Oh, how but how about is. that idea by David leaving his knight undefended here? Obviously, E F six Bishop F six would be a skewer. Right. So little nice little tactic there by by David. Knight to C three here, Castle Queen side. This is, I mean. If you can get these are aggressive positions, believe it or not, is a reverse Queen's Indian. Rook to D2. Pawn takes E5 is a huge blunder here. We have to figure out what to do. Now we can take on E5. Yeah, Knight C7 wow, is nice. hated that move. Wow. I guess Queen E3. Okay, that makes sense. H3, G4. So, I mean, look at this. You can ah, just smell maybe. it. Yeah, it could be H3, you can G4. Smell it. And White has takes. to control the position. But, okay, what what is going ah, on here? Yeah, this is a problem. After Bishop takes takes, you have Queen D4 in many cases due to the dark square control. And Knight of The Queen can get here. This is just a tr strategically won. I'm not even going to lie to you, Jeffrey. This is already over for White. It's very rough. I mean, from the files here, you do have 96, but this is hanging too. Like, look at the... Look, oh, what is man. This? What is this? Yeah, you might have to play move like 98, sadly. <laughs> yeah, right. A knight on E8. Man, it's, rough. it's a rough day in the office. Bishop C4, H3, G4, F5. Very strong stuff. Now I think... play G4 right now. Yeah, he doesn't even need to take that pawn on D6. Yeah, it's very Just nice. Just keeping full control very of the position nice. here. Queen D4. Queen and right hitting the knight. Can't play King G7. You'd just be in a pin for eternity. So I guess you have to play Queen, yeah, Queen D8. But... D8 and G4 is a definitely move. But you have H3. Might be I mean, time just to takes. cash Very easy. It. Yeah, just cash it. Easy. Queen D6. Yeah, it just takes. Just takes. And rookie 7 will be the follow-up. So it's all... I think that's just all you, all she wrote. Rookie 7? Yep, rookie 7 and takes and takes. Oh man, look at this. I think just rook c6, yeah. Double on the oh, seventh rank. Yeah. And then this is a wrap. Bishop f7, beautiful. Rook e6. Oh, we could just take and take. Yeah, this take is everything. Take everything. Take everything, right? <laughs> Brutal. Now, take everything. During the break, actually, yeah, I, as Hikaru likely wraps this one up, I just wanted to say I wrote down all of Hikaru's responses so far to 1e4. Huh? He's up to nine. He's played. E6, C6, G6, D5, C5, A5, Knight of You wrote these down. And Knight C6. Yeah, I wrote it down just <laughs> to, to make sure that he would Jeffrey. keep playing different moves. But I think that he played G6 <laughs> there. So that's our first repeat uh, of a move one Jeff response. Jeffrey wrote this down. Jeffrey wrote them down. Jeff. I mean, I was curious. Like, I really thought he would try to play all 16 like different move one responses to, to 1E4. My goodness. It's a clinic today, bro. It's a clinic. This yeah, and I like this for a card, too. Yeah. Yeah. Very topical line. Usually, you like to play G4. Roman Jinji has really has some very nice lines with G4 and not castling. Actually, class and queen side. But that is like an early G4 because the pawn is on F5 with the idea to open the G file. Here, black is really nice. Yeah, you could really set fun. up a pawn diamond here if you want with F5 and mm -hmm. G6, but there's no real need to do that. I think queen of five, swing that rook over to G6, start playing on the king right. side. Right. Yeah, I like it here. Pawn takes. You have that rook h3. D5 has nice. Oh, first fix the queen side entirely. Okay, f3 is nice, though. We opened the e file. Open up. Take this way? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Six. We go. Still nice and solid for both sides. Maybe white just plays something like rook e2, bishop d2, guards the pawn chain. No, he goes bishop e5. Slightly Straight. concerned, though, about, about that c3 weakness. Five versus five here. Black's slightly better. He is, yeah. Rook c1, maybe 
you can go rook c4, you can at some point start penetrating on the AFL with rook a rook a2. He's trying it. That's exactly what he's going for. Rook a rook a2 calls it. B3? <laughs> B3 rook is That's the pawns. And here maybe move. black can consider B3 at some point. No, he just takes. He just takes, yeah. And rook b3, and then I guess rook shuffle a4? back and forth. Yeah, at some point I like rook a4, and you start hunting down white's king. Yeah, we just we just shuffle it. We just shuffle back and forth here, e5, right? E5, still oh, nothing. Oh, there's a... Still nothing, I guess. Work. I mean, uh, I guess e4. king could just drop back. To e3, yeah. Let me try this one. Unfortunately, white has a very safe niche with the king on f4, so you couldn't really um, harass uh, with the rooks behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, David's keeping pace on the clock, which is important. I think he should be able to draw this game. Yeah, it should be. And, of course, uh, I mean, was, oh, wait, wait, wait. 16 seconds. I mean, yeah, yeah, okay, now he should he's be starting able to, to slow this, down though. a bit. It's getting he concerning again. This. This, like, how do you even get real play here? Um, after rookie 7, giving rookie up the pawn 7. Play rookie, right, exactly. Is rookie, rookie 7 anyway? 7 should be fine. Oh, oh, he's going to try for counter play. He's going to try for a mate, my guy. You better hold on. You went check first. Takes Rook takes. C four oh. king g three. I think. Was sweet. Had yeah, nice way to first. nice way to fortune. Wait, 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 wait. Is there e six? Wait, yeah, I was just thinking that. Was there an e six there? Hmm. Might have. I, I guess draw. the card could have kept that pawn at bay. So right, right. Likely, we see a draw. Or is there still chances? Right. Maybe rook c four check, but uh, for Hikaru here. Otherwise, rook g one and king f five. We also have, yeah, King F5. Wait a winning. second, King He's F5? King F5 and Rook G1 and King F6. How yeah, maybe, I guess. Rook G1, F4. The, the rook defense G1, there. G1. Yeah, Rook G1, F4 oh, or just C7. That's it. Oh, All right, nice win for David. Let's go, David. Let's go. A4, A5. How are we seeing it? Wow. It's so fast. <laughs> Pre-moving so C3, D4. All right, I see you, Hikaru. Like, come on, bro. Come on. H5, H4. Yeah, we're going to, I think we're going to see quite a few outlandish Open tries these next few games. We have already at least. This is a G five. Let's go, David. Let's go. Man, this is like terrible. Like I, I can't play this. I don't know. I was gonna try this, but today. he just gives this up the pawn not... in D five. Yeah, that's not. That's not. Gonna How happen. does Ikaro get this kind of position when he starts out with A five C three B four? That's not even going. That's what I don't understand. Whoa! And whoa. oh, can you have to queen C five? Nice counter. <laughs> Nice shot there. He's he's looking now, David. Looking, I like it. Ah, Aches, but I guess, I guess queen gotta... d five. You'll take an e four. He's got good control of the center. Oh, very nice e four. Yes. Yeah, Can you get away with e d four? Just keep sacking. Thinking about it. <laughs> e d four does it. It's on the board. It's on the board here. Now, I guess I just take on f six though. No, if you take on c six, I thought I take on yeah, take on c three. This is I mean, wicked. What the yeah, the point world? is bishop e three, queen c six. You can't take on c three because they got the fork. Oh, I oh the rook is also hanging. Yeah, boy, in, in price here, but you do have a knight of three and a queen h three though. He's out. Wow, he's actually out of there. Yeah, that those lines are working for black. I think this should be good. Caro not very happy with himself, but still a really sharp position. Well, he's not happy with himself. I play a four. Like <laughs> Caro not happy with the opening, bro. You play a four, b four, c three. Yeah, he, he doesn't a see a good move. Player. King g2 and knight f3. I'm going to try this. Shaking his head. What about c2? Okay, c2, I guess knight bd2. It's not so simple for black. Um, Maybe you go knight e4? Yeah, knight e4 is really strong. There it is, knight e4 with knight g5 intentions. Very strong. You know, maybe could go... No, knight d2 is not Ooh, nothing. Queen nothing a4, there. living on the edge. <laughs> right. That's a good move. Um, I think you have to keep queens on though. Queen e6, I like this. Rook e1 instantly. It. Play rook c8. Queen e6. Just get those rooks in the game. Yeah. Knight a3. Uh, rook e8 makes a lot of sense. At some point, I think you want to push c2. Maybe now? Oh, rook c4. Oh, black. Black's winning. Oh. Oh, knight g5. Combinations. What's the, is there some h some, Yeah, we missed ideas? something. It's, it's, they move so fast Two seconds here, here for David. He's got no time. Just got to trust his instincts now. Rook e4, rook e3. Oh, there's also, also an rookie idea. two is huge. Rookie two is nasty. You play king f one because of it. Takes take rook. Queen Ooh, f3. He's got it. Queen h one. Everything, everything drops. Back to back everything. buckets for David. Let's go, big David. 
David, out here, chat. Can we call it a comeback? Probably not. But <laughs> at the same time, I mean, hey, let's get some energy, right? Let's get some energy. Whoa, Bishop E2? Is that a slip? I thought Bishop D3 is the main move there, but... Definitely. I mean, Queen D4, this is a good way to improvise. C5, Queen E5, check. Wait, Queen oh, E6, E5? Wonder. What is this? E5? What is this? Yo, look at Icaro's face. Queen F4. Oh, yeah, it's man. starting to slip. Maybe hey, hold up. slightly careless oh. there for Mikaro. That's that's why he hasn't been playing uh, these E4, E5 actual theory. This is what he knew it would lead to. Yeah, right. You know, do we call this a comeback or not, chat? Do we call this a comeback? This is three in a row. Where did this come back? He's winning in the bullet portion. <laughs> He's winning right now in the bullet portion. G6. Well, still not over. Maybe. Oh, I think you can just castle now. Yep. We need two queen h6 is mate. Mm -mm -mm. So we have to defend the pawn. How do we do this? Maybe here, here, and here. So bishop f4, bishop e5. Queen oh, six. that's one way to do it. Yeah. And you one, two, three. Ah. literally don't even care about anything. Oh, he oh, has bishop f4. No, no, no. Bishop f4 takes it. You go rookie one, then okay. queen h6, and then bishop oh, five. Oh, rookie one. one. Yeah. That would have worked, but. Beautiful. Beautiful. I guess rookie David one, yeah. doesn't really see the need to, to take extensive risks. Yeah, he needs to be quick though. He needs to be very quick. I mean, the like, Queen six met with Bishop F eight. Nicaro always uh, finds yeah. a way to, to find mm. chances. It feels like so annoying. Like, how does he sneak that little piece of movement? <laughs> you little dirty dog, you. Bishop, Bishop F eight. Bishop H six. <laughs> That's so annoying. Bishop D six. Bishop F four. Bishop F eight. Try to get it off the board. No, nope. yeah, keep chasing. <laughs> Bishop F four. Not gonna trade you. Try to get <laughs> it off. No trades. Rookie one. Bishop F four. Now is really strong. Probably need to develop the bishop. Yeah, bishop f5. Correct. This is still nice. not that easy. I mean, what is the pawn count? He's got only one pawn, but like the knight on c3 is limited. He's also running the clock. I mean, there's a Oh bishop. my god, down to 10 seconds. Oh man, if he can't win this, it's brutal. Take on e2. Two. He did win two in a row. Knight e2. Oh, that's a good move. Rook e1. Ugh, oh, so that's tricky. an ugly move to make. Oh no. C1. Oh man, it's, chances it's are losing. Slipping. It's equal. It's slipping, yeah. And then that's losing. It should be three and bishop e2. Queen h6. What a queen f6. But then e2 hangs at least. Ah, you're right. You're actually right. So maybe we just take. You know, okay, you took oh, queen e2. h6, bishop f8. Yeah, that's more precise. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, easier. this is insane. And queen f6 is here after. Wait. Queen eight. Oh, yeah, you can't. Takes, takes. E8. Oh, my gosh. He was down a piece. He was down a piece. He was down a clean piece for nothing. He was and White had a, a pawn f6 piece. with an attack. But it still wasn't enough against the card. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he won two in a row. Like you know, he he bounced him back. Queen d two. Queen d two is yeah. Ice is it? Yeah, yeah. There it is. What's up? Yeah, I'll trade. Just rook d six. And that would have been three in a row. And I feel like Dave is going to go on tilt now and probably probably uh just unravel entirely yeah, i'm sure he felt the. i'm sure he felt the comeback though he's like oh one all right cool two i'm doing it third game winning like you really are like okay maybe i could do this thing or make this you know a little bit better but f4 now there's another opening reverse up. Yeah. <laughs> throwing one more in for us he loves the reverse he loves the leningrad the reverse leningrad exactly the reverse and leningrad. will he play an h4 h5 i'm wondering that is a typical idea you can try here. I, mean, I love playing this move. H4, H5, Bishop D3, just sacking everything and mating. David thinking, I mean, you got it. There it is. There it is. H4, no H5, let me lie. And now if H5, I think there's F5. For white. Oh, H5, F5. Oh, my goodness. That's gross. Just breaking up the whole thing. That's gross. F5. I like oh, G4, G4 he does it in another fashion. Yeah, G4 is a H5 common coming. idea. There's and no queen F6. G4. Yeah, queen G4. Oh, problem this, is, I think looks... he has... Oh, he doesn't I mean, have this. I have 96. The engine still thinks that black is doing well here for some reason. In fact, I mean, they like... Let me see. Oh, knight at... What? <laughs> Jeffrey, knight F6. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is disgusting. That's I gotta silicone. show that. Oh, I gotta man. show that. That and is disgusting. The knight is disgusting trapped move. on G5. And, and then G5. takes and takes. Like, yo, what a that's concept. sick. That is sick. But I mean, I still would, I would like white, but like, wow, just not the fact that that's a thing, that's sick. Yeah, so. but in the game, I mean, he's got an h5, now knight e6. What is this? Knight takes e5, knight g7, knight f3, queen takes f3. Oh, yeah. So well calculated. Nasty stuff, knight's hanging. Take those. 
Which pawn do you take? And oh, there's also queen d2, which I like a lot. I love this move a lot, but I mean, queen g6, I guess. So he just took the pawn. But bishop d. Ah, yeah, queen g6 probably for black. Queen d5? Yeah, you can just snatch that pawn. So again, queen d2. Queen d2, queen g6, and bishop d3, bishop yeah, f5, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, so he went this route instead. Do I have, I mean, like, how can I get this? Like, there it is, but a queen g6. Whoa. I mean, there is this, some counterplay here for David. What? Oh, but Queen D four. He blundered. He blundered. Rook H five. Oh, this too. This too. Everything. Easy, oh, yeah. easy. I mean, I mean, there's made everywhere, right? It's got to be in a million years. Oh, okay. Bishop C four. After that Hikaru game, where his king was on B six, you know, anything can happen. Bishop check, E six check. Oh man. Oh man. All oh, pre moved. <laughs> he pre moved all of this. Oh, he oh my also god. Pre-moved. Oh, get that off the screen, bro. We That's got a kids clinic. watching this, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Y'all gonna have to watch the VOD for that one. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's not <laughs> can't put that on the screen again. H4, H5, knight D5. Oh, this is just theory, actually. Yeah, knight of six. Theory this is. Hmm. Still looks okay. This looks nice for Dave. You go bishop g5, no, he takes. Maybe some sacks on e6 could be in, in the air. Oh, and this should be five. Yeah, very, very good Baca. position for David. Got some good out the way. They're like bishop g7 and knight e5 is an idea. Yeah, bishop, yeah. I mean, this is, I mean, David, where he's like working him. He's like working him right now. That's what it feels like. Whoa, oh, a3. The card just ignores it. Or bishop is he, a b2. Oh, who getting oh. worked right now? Whoa! Oh ho ho! And if B three you weaken your position, there could be like a knight landing on C three in the near future. Mm. That's gonna be a little nice little reroute to the house. Exactly. And now rook d eight. This is just simply good again. This end game trading. Uh, oh, can David get away with this king b two? Yeah, rook b two, rook d two. Uh, he's counting on. Rook b two. We double. Double. Okay, David. C4, that's a nice little discovery he opens with the bishop. <laughs> and also Crafty hitting this, idea. which is connected to your bishop. Be very careful where you step. There could be, be some knight b4 ideas that I'm calculating, like cd5, knight b4. On takes, knight Rookie on 7, is this a bluff or does Akaro have something? I have a feeling he's going to pre move a bunch of moves again. <laughs> <laughs> he actually has takes and takes. And then push he has rook a2. a2, rook g2, yeah. And yeah, a2. well, he does it. He does it with the a2 idea and knight c2. Oh my goodness, but it's not this made is crazy. Yeah, the bishop but it is giving seven. up the material, though. You give up material and oh, rook g7, good right? move guarding c2. Now, if a2 knight c2 is just going to sack and push the d pawn, mm, yep. Oh my goodness, very nice plan. Rook b8. Oh, but mm. there's uh, there's knight uh, what is there? I thought there was something. Yeah, Rook oh, B8 is this good. Bishop. Rook B8 is good. It's so strong. Like, it covers everything. Rook B8 is completely losing. I like this. But, I mean, it's definitely losing? a move. Why is it losing, though? I have no idea. In fact, I, was, I mean, says I have nasty discoveries here. It just says push the pawn. That's it. And believe it or not, what? it's nothing. I can't believe this either. I guess this bishop is, like, the best bishop ever. Oh, wherever you jump everything. with the knight, my king goes to the other direction. I'm always like, defended. I'm, like, always defended. Yep. Crazy. Everything you do. I'm always defended. There's like and Hikaru's else. in disbelief. <laughs> yeah, right? Right? There's nothing here. <laughs> I would be too. Like, how can you not be in this position? Look at this position. Knights 2, and King like, C1. There's nothing. Unless some type of swindle. Wait, here. why King A2? That is... Oh, we have What is he doing? Oh, my God. Me. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, oh. Get him off the board. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. I'm oh, out. my hey, Jeffrey, God. That is hard. You're on your own, bro. You're on your own, bro. I'm out. I have a good one. All right, see you, James. <laughs> no, man, that is ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. If he had Bro, just he gone mate. the other way, he was safe he if he had mate. gone the other way. Found the oh, only man. way to self mate. How did you do that? How? Oh, man, I'm tilted. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with the match. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out of here, bro. I'm out uh, of here, bro. I can't win that. I can't win that. I can't win that, Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. I can't win that one. All right. Okay, cool, 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 bro, cool. Yeah, I think c5 here got to cut off knight d4, okay, but now he loves knight d4. You know, he's just he's on tilt. I mean, there's really no other way to put it. Oh my goodness, oh man, that hurt. That one like stings, it does. That one just stings. You still sums up, it sums it up, sums up this match.
<laughs> yeah, sums up the match there, right? That is just wicked, man. Completely losing and hung mate. Only way to hang mate is King takes a3. Now, okay, Hikaru's going to sack a pawn on e5. But he's saying that he has permanent control of all the dark squares after a5. I do like it. I like it. He also has a7. He's going to step up to e3. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a7's hanging. e3 first. G7? I think he can pick off g7. Ah, yeah, g7. And now opposite color bishops. Oh, I love this move from David. C5, C5 is, is good. A beautiful move. I wanted to go back, but now I can't. That was an excellent you know, move. G4, don't play rook G5, rook D5, C4. C4, rook D2, and I'm like, who's winning? I mean, we got the opposite colors taking rook B1. After last games, you you can't put anything past anything. No, this not at crazy. all. And Hikaru's just playing like lightning. Still 50 seconds here, bishop P5. Oh, that's attack C7. I didn't that. Guess he's going rook F B1. What's up, Ordinate in the chat? Hikaru style right here. Typical, yeah, typical Hikaru. Now, can you just take on C4 and go Rook B4? Yeah, cut him off. Rook D5, maybe? Oh, just man. don't blunder another mate. No. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> it's kind of obvious. Either said and done, right? It's hurt, <laughs> hurt after that. You're like, you don't need, the pieces don't even look the same. Why do I feel like something's game? coming? Yeah, I don't it know does. what, but. It does. I mean, you got, you got hit like that, man. It shocks you. Like, you still feel that. Two games After three after. seconds. Rook H1, oh, oh no. Ring around the Rosie Rook here. Rook H8, ah, oh. this is scary again. E3. Ring the Rosie. Oh, E3 there it is. could King come. E3, Bishop, Bishop D4. D4. Bishop D4. <gasps> Goodbye. Dagger, Rook, Rook H5. H5. Oh, okay. It hurts. Okay, look. Hit him everywhere. Hit him everywhere. Oh, man. What's the other one? G6, G7. Let's okay, push it. First, we don't care about I guess that. first King D2, Rook C1. Or, oh, no, just G7 anyway, yeah. Resignation. Another one. Down. Oh, so painful. Wow. What was the smarter chess again? The prediction was 22. Yeah, it was 22. We're getting close to that. Was so, it 22 to 6? Yeah, I think it was 22 to 6. really finished 22 to 6. Dang, that's crazy. Smarter chess. Might be right this time. Crazy. Yeah, 22 <laughs> to 6. That's crazy. 22 to 6. It's been on point. Wow. All right. This is another Akaru special. Doubled F pawns, but. Got a nice solid structure there. It's pressure on d4. F5 is going to be uh, the move at some point. Is to say that this is my only weak pawn, which would be f7. But I do like I do like the pawn a5. You restrict and now start pressuring along the b file. C3, nice move. Consolidate. Good play from David. We we'll put some pressure on the b file too. Oh, yeah, I and this also is kind of strong. After rook b1, rook b8, there might be a d5 idea there, uh, opening up your bishop. Mm. Oh, d5. Yeah, d5, d5 idea, yeah. Right. Opening up the bishop, yeah. This, 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 rook this b1, good. yeah. Does it work? d5, you take. Maybe maybe not the best C3's way. c hanging but possible. too, but it's possible, right? Yeah. He's going to calculate it. You can also just play things slow here, maybe like bring the knight around. G3, G3, that can't stop me at four h4 king g2 very patient right? yeah all the moves you have to make right all the the waiting moves it's king g2 why not let's do it yeah hikaru's stuck here you can't touch the bishop oh a3 king h3. <laughs> yeah king h3 just stopping any f4 now the knight goes but ah bishop d8 i like knight d2 but you're right bishop f4 is kind of annoying and also uh the pawns hanging f4 wow oh if gf4 he's gonna go knight g7 and that was goes strong. Through this. Still very good for David. I don't know if you want knight e5 or yeah, it's gonna put the king on f3, play knight c5. Maybe rook c1 first. Rook, but no. I don't think you were so worried about rook c2. Just go king f3 here. Well, rook b3. Or this. Attack the pawn. Okay. This is good take, too. Take. I get one, you get one. We trading everything out. Whoa, knight e5. Oh, knight e5. Tactics. Threatening knight c6. Nice. Tactics. This has been a rush. really sharp game from David. Start to finish. You do your puzzle rest. Very nice, David. Very nice. The car on a think tank there. He does not expect that. Find yeah, I'm not C2. sure he's going to be able to get out of this one. Knight Wait, C6. Is, how do you deal with this? You just give well, up the he's going to pick up a few. Oh, he's pawns, getting the pawns. David. Oh, that's very, very nice. Wait a second. Still not easy. Maybe rook b7, rook d7, and then rook d7. Yes. This is the mm, way that's good. That's very good. 
That's very good. Yeah, rook a8. You have to try ah, rook a bishop b6 still. Not the easiest conversion. Five seconds. He has to move. Outside a, we on a dark square. Aha, uh -huh, he's got rook c7. Yeah, this is a clinical way. Oh, rook a7, a bit slow. Play rook a6. e6, f3, f5, though. Play king e4. Who's I feel like he's making a slight mess, but it's still okay. Okay, e3. draw. No, 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 no draw, no draw, no draw. E6. Rook g7, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's going to do it. That's going to do it. Bishop f2, that's you nice. take in rook g5, so yeah, this should be good, although Hakar is going to win h4. Most time is left? Five minutes? Yeah, there's no way he's going to win. It's like, again, he's at 14 games in a row here. That's too tough. Yeah, that's a bit too gets, much. Uh, that's too but much. now the question is, can you even win this position? Very hard to say. I mean, Bishop d6. Mm -hmm. King d5? Played? Rook g7. What is going on? Are you getting all the pawns? Okay, he's getting Well, the but king d5? So and it's d5? not... Yeah, I can't lose, right? It's white. I, I think, think it's so. still... Oh, wait. Why Whoa, did you we oh, hung the whole bishop. bishop. What is he doing? He jumped off the D-band chat. Oh, national television. <laughs> there it is. Oh, wow. Somebody get him. Get you a boy. Wow, he just dropped the whole bishop there. All right, that was that's, that's a way to convert one that right occurred. Might regret, but not. I mean, definitely not a big deal. Not going to haunt him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He definitely uh, hung a whole a whole bishop there, the whole thing. And knight c three. Yeah, he played knight c three, knight b one, knight back to c three. Probably bishop e three next. Just finish the development. Very nice. Bishop to g one at some point if we need to. Oh, he just said c six. Restrict your pieces. Takes knight of three. Okay. He's got. Uh, like the queen's short on spaces. Like it is. Yeah, you gotta watch out. I guess knight five. There's still queen g four. Yeah, that's the only thing. Maybe I go h three. Yeah, h three slowly build everything up. Looks yeah, nice. Six. Yo, something's wrong. Knight g five is gg. Be... Oh, knight... What are you doing? No, no, no. Knight g five. Ah, e five, e six. E five. You're right. You're right. E five. Oh, no, yeah, this allows it. h six. So still a saving grace. Yeah, knight g five here, e five, and g four in the queen's trap. Yeah, and if queen d six, e five, e six. Yes. Oh yeah, queen d five, e six, right, e six. I mean, it's nasty, pretty nasty stuff. But this is good. As I mean, like he's up. And if h six, at some point you'll you'll prep f five. Like you will probably maybe even look... now. You could and consider it, but I think you prepare it first. Yeah, h3, g4. H3. You've also got knight e4 ideas. Well, I like knight e4 and knight c5. Yeah, yucks. Yikes. e5, not playable. e5 Takes is desperate. Takes. Interesting practical C6. attempts. But still just knight e4 solves the problem. Is b4, maybe? e4 is good. Also rook c1. There's also a knight d4, but I just take. There's pressure. I go a3. Ah, there is knight d4 you have to be worried about. Okay. Wait, why didn't he go e6? I thought he wanted e6 there. All right. And now he, there it is e6 now rook c2 it's consolidating i'm up a lot of time yeah black has total control over the d file now so it's okay um yeah, it's totally, totally fine for black probably just you can exchange queens whenever he wants with queen e4 the king g2 yeah rook c2 just keep everything under control wait rook d4 Almost traps the queen, but hey, right. I was like, wait, where do we go? Yeah, we, yeah. Only two squares for the queen there. Close. Rook takes d7. Maybe just right, walk the king over, go to e3, e4. E6, nice Ooh. move. Plant that bishop on c5 and play b4. Ah, g5 mm. is also good. That's a good move. That's a good move. Got breathing room for the king. E5, a weakness, but probably still balanced by best play. With only a minute 40 left here, it looks like Hikaru is going to be advancing. Guys, he is going to be advancing. Um, so, yeah, as we as we see here, let's see what the number is going to be for Smarter Chess. So they did put it at 22. If they... Uh, and a half, it's, probably he won't get to 22. Still some dancing here. Watch out, Rook G8. Tricky moment here. Rook G8, King H7. Yeah, he played good. Played much better in a bullet. This is unpleasant. Ikara might win this with tricky the knight. knights. Yeah, because it's the tricky knights, right? Like, it's the worst position you want to be in. And David has no time either. Okay, he's going to dance. Hmm. Oh, Bishop H2 is nice, though, and King G5. Oh, that's nice. Hey, who's in Zugzwang? Close to Zugzwang. H4. 
Actually, David might That's be winning. Good. He might be winning. Yeah, right? That's good. That's some good Zug there. Maybe Knight of very Four. Good Zug. Might be Knight of Four or or this. Or yeah, yeah. This oh, is just wrap it out. Wrap it out. Okay. And wrap We're going to keep playing. I mean, he might try to bleed the entire match clock out, but it's difficult to avoid this repetition. Oh, but now he can. Yeah. Don't blunder a fork. He does not. Knight d6. Ah, can you so take that? No, that was losing. Right. King e4. King f4. Are you shaking hands, bro? Yeah, Kara just going to bleed this entire match out. We're probably going to see our final game. Yeah. Oh, G5. King H5, great move. I think if anyone has chances, it's probably black still. Those pawns look loose. The time issue is huge. And there's for... Bishop. Ah, King G4. Yeah, it's still okay. Checking Knight C6. Now the Knight's out. King H5. Oh, the card right. is slowly making progress, but it's still a draw. And that is official. The match clock is up. The card is game. advancing. Yes, I mean, a dominating performance from the get-go. I'm still trying to make something happen here. I mean, right, the clock. Gotta like, be careful. Clock. Wait, he loses the G-pawn, but it's still fine. It's still actually fine, because your pawn on E5 handles both E and F. And time no, but now, up. no, 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 what is this? Can I take? F5? Oh, take yeah, on take. D6. Is this not winning? How can this not be winning? Oh, because of push. What? Oh, Reddy's my God. idea. Reddy's idea. Oh, my goodness. How was he in time there? It feels like Carl was a Reddy's cat idea. with nine lives. That's nuts, bro. Study yo in games. Oh, my goodness. That was a Reddy's idea. That's a, and he found it in seconds, though. Like, that's insane. He did. Yeah. I mean, David. Oh, no, no. Oh, losing. Oh. <laughs> oh, just a careless slip there at the end. <laughs> it hurts. Oh, man. That's crazy. Wow. All right, yeah, Hikaru doesn't really need to play on. The match clock is expiring, but mm -hmm. just to be certain, that's it. That's it. Hikaru laughs there, and that is a wrap. Now, Smarter Chess was wrong there. They did not get the 22 and a half. They were right about the six piece from David, six and a half, in fact. But Hikaru is going to advance there as he is the winner of today's SCC match chat. What do you think about that right there? Jeffrey, what do you think about this whole match? It was a lot of fun. Um, Ikaru definitely entertaining us with his opening uh, early on. Played basically everything he could as black and also as white, obviously the A3, H3 dynamic duo. It was a lot of fun. Um, wish that David... Could have taken more advantage of some chances, uh, punish Hikaru's bracket of play, but in any case, the better player does go through. Oh yeah, absolutely. Of course, uh, Hikaru just did and dominated what he came. He did what he came to do, and he dominated as usual, as you guys said as well. By the way, we are going to have an interview with the big fella himself. So, we all, oh, we just heard there is no interview. There was no interview. Okay, no interview. Perfect. We just got to the word. Okay, so no interview. Uh, no interview chat. But um, with that being said, of course, uh, Hikaru moves on as we take a look at the bracket here. As we take a look at the bracket, we got Hikaru playing LeBron Aronian. I call him LeBron Aronian because he is just like that, as strong as he is. But we got LeBron Aronian versus Hikaru Nakamura, as you see there. We got Ding Loran versus Nihal Sarn. We have Carlson versus Kurawana. That's a world championship SEC right there. Nuts stuff. We got Wesley Soul versus NBO. Lots of SEC chess. Coming up, it's going to be amazing. And the next match, chat, the next match is actually going to be, uh, I think, Ding Loren placing, facing Nihal Sarin um, tomorrow, in fact, chat, tomorrow. So, Jeffrey, I mean, what do you got? Hey, oh, you know, my today's God, match was wow. nice, but look at this one, too. Woo! Non-stop action. This is the prime of chess, I feel like. We, I mean, we've also got women's candidates running alongside this. It's got the chess boxing over the weekend. This is an amazing time to be a chess fan. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing time to be a chess fan uh, chat. I mean, it's, it's absolutely amazing. You guys are pretty awesome. And uh, before we go here, actually, um, is there any chess player in your life um, who you would like to receive a premium membership to chess.com? Do you have a holiday party tonight, but totally forgot to buy a present this holiday season? 
Share the beauty of chess with your loved ones. Whether you plan ahead or find yourself in a time scramble for a last minute gift, chess.com has the answer. Buy a gift membership for the friends and the family. Come on now. Drop command gift in the chat for more information chat. So some holidays, of course, for the holiday season. Jeffrey, it's been amazing. It's been fire. It's been awesome. So much chess today. I learned some stuff myself here that I'm going to implement in my own game. So I don't know about you, Jeffrey, and chat, but it's been awesome today, bro. Yes, sir. A3 and H3. It was so much fun. <laughs> GM Canny, uh, looking forward to seeing more of you both over the board uh, and on stream. Big fan. And that yeah, will see you all next time. Of course, chat. Of course, uh, stick around for the raid. And there will be some big shows tomorrow. Huge show tomorrow with Ding Laran and Nihal Sarn. So make sure you guys are there. It starts at 6 a.m. Pacific time. And, uh, you know, we'll see you guys when that happens. It's going to be commentary with Daniel Nerdisky and Levy and the Chevy, Levy Rosman. You know what it is. All right, chat. Love you guys. Make sure you guys uh, follow our channels too. I'm at GM Canty and Jeffrey's GMJX. It's been a pleasure. We'll see you guys on the next event.